Hello everyone, welcome to the Polychamps channel. Uh, today uh, is the Play Polytopia with Polychamps time. Uh, my name is Gato Azul, Team Arctic Wolves. Uh, let's meet our guest, uh, Meister Lampe. Hello, welcome to the Hi. channel and welcome to the stream. Hi, I'm Meister Lampe, uh, also a player on the Arctic Wolves. Um, I've been playing Polytopia since... How are you today? Let's first start from that. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to, to play some games? Yeah, I'm doing quite good. Uh, <laughs> had a good day today. Enough okay. sleep and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, a bit of introduction. Um, so tell us about uh, yourself. Uh, maybe how did you discover Polytopia? How long have you been playing? Uh, what is your favorite tribe? Uh, why do you like the game uh, so much? I guess you like it so very much. Yeah, um, I first played Polytopia um, around six years ago in 2018. Oh, I Jesus, discovered... that's, that's like prehistoric times. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, quite, a while. that's mm -hmm. quite a while ago. Uh, I discovered it um, through, yeah, through like I, a classmate played it and I thought the game was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, I started. So where playing. where did you actually start playing on 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 a PC or so like a Steam uh, version or or the or mobile? Uh, it was in the mobile version at the mm -hmm. time. There wasn't even a Steam version yet. So oh okay. It mm -hmm. wouldn't even have been an option. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, your favorite tribe. Do you have any? Um, yeah, like I personally. I, I mean, I've been playing pretty much every tribe. Um, when I first started, my favorite tribe was Sinksy. Mm -hmm. um, or the time when, when Yada got released, um, I liked them quite a lot. And Sebastian and Kiko always also have been like two of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And recently, um, I've been enjoying Aquarion quite a lot as well. OK, that's unusual. People usually don't don't mention Aquarian as as their favorite. Um, okay, so uh, why do you like the game? Or like why why did you like it like you know six years ago, and why do you like it now? Um, like there are multiple reasons. Um, like first of all, I think um, Polytopia probably is one of the best mobile games that there is. Like without many of the common dark patterns of pay to win and mm -hmm. I think to play all the time and so on. Like I think you're like pretty free what to do here, of course. You can get like these obligations to log in uh, from time to time as well through online games. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't feel like you're getting forced into it. And besides that, um, I also like playing strategy games and especially on mobile um, it's good that the game isn't too mechanically based because like on small phone screens uh, that can be quite a problem as well mm -hmm. okay um so your your story is probably a bit different than than most of the players because uh so we we, we spoke a bit before the the stream so um you mentioned 2018 and it's been six years and uh, then you said i've been playing just for two years so there is a you know probably a bit of confusion uh, among our viewers um so you had a time in 2018 when you played and then you had a break uh, so tell us a bit about that so how was how has the game you know changed over over the years, how was it uh, then in those you know historic times uh, when it was actually so not not very long after it was released, right? Because it's uh, what what, uh, what was the re release year? Uh, I like think 2016. Game, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it it has developed a bit since it got released, but mm -hmm. um, there have been um, <laughs> it the games obviously was uh, very much different at the time. Mm -hmm. Like Luxidor, for example, started with a city wall and a level three capital. Mm -hmm. And 
of course, like Wales were ridiculously strong as well. Like, it mm -hmm. would be too uncommon to like kick who randomly built four ports mm -hmm. turn one because they started with four Wales. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah, also Forestry was a completely broken tech. Um, it used to give two stars per shop. Mm -hmm. That leveled, um, like, the meta was like, okay, you go forestry and then math, so you can get to level four for border expansion. And when we border expansion, you get so many extra forests you can shop. And then you have, like, you, you quite frequently, especially with tribes like Bardo and Luxidor, mm -hmm. or like two or three giants by turn six. And and there also was the option, like nowadays, when you get a unit from a ruin on the land, mm -hmm. you get a veteran swordsman. At the time, it would give you a giant. Or well, yeah, I remember it, that. It was it was very, ruin, very, very different. Egg. Uh -huh. But that obviously is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and... Yeah, but why, why, why the break? What, what happened uh, with the, with the game, uh, or you know, what, what was behind the, the break? Because it's, it's quite a long. So, because you, you play how, how for how long have you uh, been playing uh, in two thousand eighteen? Yeah, I played um, from around like I think I started like in April twenty eighteen, mm -hmm. and then played about until July twenty nineteen. I kind of got bored at the time and mm -hmm. okay then just stopped playing mm -hmm. and, and you came back well where... yeah i came back just about four months ago okay i've i've had some friends of me um, trying out the game again and uh -huh. kind of got back into it and i've had like a lot more time uh, spending on my phone as well so uh -huh. yeah that was kind of the reason why i discovered the game again and I kind of noticed that, like, uh -huh. yeah. It's, well, so what's your take uh, between the, you know, the the time, uh, you know, 2018, and now, has the game developed in the right direction, or uh, would you change some things? Uh, um, uh, some I details? think the game definitely has become a lot more balanced. Um, <laughs> I just now noticed I didn't even mention that at the time mm -hmm. there didn't exist separate map types. Mm -hmm. So there was like only this one map type, and for example, Kiku used to be really broken because they got extra water tiles, which mm -hmm. meant that they got way better custom house spots than all the other tribes. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I um, I also think that um, even though naval obviously isn't perfect now, um, I think it's gotten a lot more interesting. But it's not just okay. Well. You got exactly only units with two range, mm -hmm. and those are like hitting each other. And it's a lot more about positioning now as well. I think land has become a lot more interesting with the introduction of cloaks as well. There is also like a lot of skill involved in them. So what's like, uh, what, what's your opinion? Are, are they OP? Because a lot of people are uh, complaining about cloaks. Which um, which side are you? They are okay or I, I don't think cloaks are too strong. Like okay. uh -huh. they can be quite devastating. Like it's a bit weird. If you basically get control of an enemy city but mm -hmm. you haven't actually captured yet, mm -hmm. it's like and, and especially if it's a level five or higher city, it's kind of crazy and what can happen if you cloak chain that city. But they can also be really useless at the same time if you go for them but you don't actually have the control to hit them mm -hmm. so they're like kind of coin flip they are more like a follow-up strategy on mainly archers i'd say because like archers are better than riders um, to actually secure control mm -hmm. yeah so uh, Vors is uh is saying that uh, they are annoying but uh but okay. Yeah. I so think so there, are, there are ways to counter them, right? Yeah, I think the mainly annoying part about that is when you play against cloaks, mm -hmm. like you see the enemy makes a cloak, like you have to kind of keep track where the cloak could move, could have moved by the time to like predict 
when it shows up somewhere. But um, yeah, that's obviously like a lot of extra managing mm -hmm. that not everyone sure. wants to do. Yeah, especially when you are like have time pressure, then it's uh, probably even more stressful, right? Um, any other other games uh, you like to play when not playing Polytopia? Yeah, currently um, I mainly like playing Age of Empires and League of Legends uh, on computer games. And on mobile, I don't play any other games. Okay. Okay, so I think it's high time to to play some games. Um, any uh, any any re recommendations or any drives that you would like to see? Um, Meister Lampe playing. Um, yeah. So now it's it's time to um, to make uh, like a poll. So we will do probably one uh, small game. Uh, sorry, one small map, uh, dry land. Uh, one small lakes and one small archipelago. Uh, for this was Meister Lampe's wish. So uh, let's see how how that goes. So anyone would like to see any tribe, put your comments in the in the in the chat. <clears throat> we have to be patient. Yeah, let's see. Okay, Vars is saying Hudrick. So we have a first vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's yeah, wait a bit. Hudrick. Let's wait a bit. Maybe <laughs> there will be some more, some other. I think that Hudrick also could be quite interesting now on Dryland with uh, changes to markets. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I unfortunately don't have Polaris. Uh, oh, okay. So, so uh, which tribe are out of the um, out of the? Uh, I don't game? have Fedorian on Polaris. Oh, okay. Since I meant okay. unlocked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, the sign maker we can't do Polaris. Okay, so let's go. Let's go, Hudrick. Let's not uh, like, uh, spend more time. Chat is, so chat is silent yes. today. Not a lot of interactions. Maybe they will, you know, warm up with the games. Okay, we'll put on some music. Do you like the, the Polytopia music? Um, well, I actually don't listen to it too often because okay. mobile, I always play with sounds disabled. <laughs> okay, sure. But uh, when playing on Steam, yeah, like, I listen to it. Meister mm, Ampak, could you say something? Oh, it wasn't picked up by the microphone. Yeah, something something uh, happened and uh, we lost you. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, like on mobile, I always mm -hmm. play with uh, sounds disabled, so I don't actually listen to the music there. Mm -hmm. But when I play on Steam, um, yeah, I'm. I got the music enabled, obviously, and I think it's pretty mm -hmm. much always nice for games to have. Uh, mm -hmm. Music. Some background music. Mm -hmm. ah, so okay, let's start the now. game. Let's see what will happen. 515 score. Okay, so... Ah, and uh, one quick note. So we will do uh, like a replay review of, uh, uh, after each, each game. So we can, you know, give some tips and feedback to... Okay. To the player. Yeah, so right here, um, I want to move towards the animal. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Uh, mm -hmm. There's no point um, actually moving further towards the edge of yeah, the animal. Yeah, but why is it important to move towards the animal? Explain, because it's not. Uh, why it's moving. important to move towards uh, resources. Mm -hmm. um, 
So basically, um, the resources um, are much more common uh, next to cities. That's like a short explanation. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I already found okay. him. So it's Chin Chi. That's not necessarily good, but um, I can still make it work. Mm -hmm. Okay, he another another up, village. Uh, mm -hmm. Knocking me off. Because now I got the warrior and the rider in range. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got, he got his warrior over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you'll capture this this village or not? Yeah, I, I will capture the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then also... Wait, um, am I allowed to do this? Okay, so I can capture the city. Move up the arch, and now the question is what do I do with this warrior? If I move onto the ruin, he sieges me and I can't unsiege, so I have to move here. Mm -hmm. Because let's let's explain that uh, Hudrik starts with the, with the archery tech, right? And uh, yeah, you, get, um, you get a bonus, mm -hmm. you get a defense bonus on, uh, on uh, forest tiles. Yeah, but that wasn't even the main concern here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like now I want to unsiege this. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I got, I guess I got the option uh, to also hit with the warrior first, but I think it's better to just preserve the HP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, he's moving onto the uh, ruin. I think that's mistake by him because he can never keep that ruin mm -hmm. uh, because now i can just do um this right here i have a choice which archer do i give a kill to uh, i don't think it really matters here mm -hmm. um i could go for forestry but then i'd have to chop a lot to get any value out of it I think, yeah, I probably just do another warrior here. Okay. So going the the safe route, not risking too much. So where do you think his capital is in the in the west? His capital is right here. Am I okay. already mm -hmm. see the city border? Uh, <coughs> I might also move there to like, see what's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, he only got this one upgrade, and I can keep killing his warriors that he sends there. I'm also stacking the kills mm -hmm. uh, on the same unit. Um, I could take an explorer, but I don't think it really gives me any value here, so I'm not going to actually do that. Why is that? Could you explain? Why not an explorer? Um, I. I don't think it gives me any extra info here that helps me. Like I see him only making warrior efficient on all his cities. Mm -hmm. So there is not really a reason to do that. Um, I could chop three forests to make another archer. I think I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter which one I take here. Mm -hmm. I could hit him, but I don't think it's necessary. And explain maybe what, what you're checking in this uh, game stats, because not everyone is familiar with the, with the score counting. But I haven't actually <laughs> done a lot of score counting uh, mm -hmm. in this game so far. Um, my opponent just found out that my warrior is defense boosted, I guess. Mm -hmm. But he managed to take him down in the end. But um, Okay, now I got a choice again. He didn't actually... Okay, I think I'm... Oh yeah, I can actually siege him this turn. That looks like a good idea. Now, um, but he could. Oh, well, that was a fast one. <laughs> I 
yeah, well, what I wanted to say is that um, he could obviously unseach this, but um, it's mm -hmm. not very, like, it's obviously not optimal for him. Like, then he's stuck with, like, he either has to like, suicide a lot of units to get the skill, and then he has to keep moving warriors into my archer's range. Mm -hmm. And. Like, uh, but, I, warriors. Uh -huh greatest mm -hmm. units to mm -hmm. use against the archers. Yeah, sure. Uh, by the way, uh, are you... Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it. GG's. Yeah, uh, he had already mm. given up. I wanted to uh, explain how yeah. I wanted to continue. So I, I think we'll play more games if it goes, uh, you know, the in the in the space. Um, Should I do another Drylands or like just... No, like let's let's the first go, go through the replay. So we ah, can see we what could, what yeah. he did, what you did, and um, so, so maybe maybe let's yeah, yeah let's see both with, like, yeah shared mm -hmm. fog until we've met like that's something mm -hmm. I like to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think about the the spawns? Uh, I think my spawn isn't really great. Like mm -hmm. I've got only two animals. I think you're guaranteed two animals. And I only got two forests, like animals and forests are mainly what you want as Sudric. The fruits don't really matter too much. I also mm -hmm. don't really have any good resource indicators. Uh -huh. I only got this animal to the west, but like there's a chance it's part of a city, but again, not great, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, my opponent, yeah, let's go to his perspective really quick. Um, I guess he doesn't know this, but um, he should be aware that if you see like those mountains as mm -hmm. see without any ore on top of it, mm -hmm. um, they cannot be part of a city. So I don't think there's a reason to go into that direction. Like I personally would have moved east onto the fruit or south onto. Mm -hmm. the because other. there's another, but there's another fruit in a, in the like. Uh... What's the like north northeast? Uh, is it? Yeah, is but it a... didn't actually see that. Like he saw that. Um, ah, okay, so he stepped on the on the mountain war, and then he saw it. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if my uh, my cursor should be visible on stream. So this means that um, mm -hmm. on all yep. of these tiles there cannot be a city possibly. Like there could be one over here, mm -hmm. but like that's not the the direction you want to explore towards at the start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, okay, let's stop with the shared fog again. Um, opponent now moves here. Mm -hmm. has split up his warriors, found two cities. Mm -hmm. He would have found a city if he went into the direction. Uh, mm -hmm. into the direction yeah, just, just east. Mm -hmm. Just east. Mm -hmm. Immediately, but... Mm -hmm. Well, he at least found them now, I guess. Um, I move on to a city, end up finding him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has backup over there, but um, he only has this one warrior, fortunately for me, in range to uh, hit the archer, mm -hmm. which means he can knock me off of the city. He goes for mining, uh, pretty standard uh, Xinxi stuff. Um, don't even think he has another option here because that's mm -hmm. the only yeah he has no an, no animals and just one fruit so it's a no brainer. Mm -hmm. Um, did I have any other options here? I don't think so. I was uh, just considering. No, I couldn't have knocked him off of the other city. Yeah, I think that's the correct play from him to mm -hmm. me there. Like, um, he could have done an optimi optimization to get more vision before getting the siege. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So he could have southeast, yeah, south south. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. before hitting me uh, to just get extra vision. Mm -hmm. So it w it was a good move because, for example, you could have. Uh, had your archers, you know, going east or something, so he might got 
you know, are lucky, right? Uh, with the siege. Um, you mean that, uh, yeah, I mean, I personally would expect um, the other player to be able to unsiege this. Mm -hmm. But it's obviously also worth it to just kill the, kill the archer. Because well, the archer obviously is worth more than this warrior. Mm -hmm. And the warrior doesn't really have any other job now anyway. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's also one star for, for the siege, right? right? So he actually denied you four stars. Yeah, he denies me at least one star of income mm -hmm. and also kills my unit, which mm -hmm. originally was worth three stars. And it's also a distraction from him, like, taking the other city. Mm -hmm. Sure. I <clears> think <throat> I'll just keep watching uh, the game from his view to like, see what mm -hmm. Yeah, he, now he, for example, like, if he had done a trick with the warrior I was talking about, he would have, for example, also seen where I exactly attacked him from. Like, mm -hmm. Technically, if you record the replay, you could also uh, figure out from which tile the archer has been shooting, but it's hard to tell in a live game. Mm -hmm. And Yeah, and here if he moved south right, he could have attacked your, your archer, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 he didn't yeah. actually mm -hmm. see that because of that, so... Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> It was like kind of a follow up from what happened mm. there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, and, and then you get a free kill for from you know at, on, on yeah. Now he just keeps sending in warriors into mm -hmm. my archers, and um, the game is kind of over from here. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Like technically, he could siege my city. With a 10 HP warrior, if he suicides with 5 HP and 6 HP, mm -hmm. but he doesn't know that I don't have the yeah, archers ready to unsiege this, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happened here. Anything he, he could, you know, change? The, what would you recommend uh, in this situation? <clears throat> Well, like the situation he got himself into here and was like obviously isn't great already, like he doesn't have good resources. Mm -hmm. uh, he also wasn't the host in this game, which also is a disadvantage. And he obviously made the, the exploring mistake in the beginning of going into mm -hmm. a direction where there isn't a city, even though it was obvious that there couldn't be a city. And yeah, he, like, he probably should try to go riding or something. Mm -hmm. like, um, ideally... But also quite unfortunate that he had this uh, forest tile right in, in, in front of his capital. Well, um, I mean, he mm -hmm. doesn't have one here. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Rider could mm -hmm. still bounce this way mm -hmm. or like that. Mm -hmm. Sure. But yeah, I think... Um, Usually in these kind of situations, I'd rather have archery than riding, but mm -hmm. archery obviously is more expensive for other tribes that don't start with mm -hmm. archers. Yep. And, uh, and the defense bonus. Yeah, also defense very, bonus very important. Really good for mm -hmm. the warriors. Yep. Okay, so now let's play lakes. Uh, any, any, any votes for... for uh, for a tribe, um, people in the chat. Anyone would like to um, Okay, Mystic says Yadak, so maybe let's try your favorite tribe from the past. Yeah, I can go Yadak. Um... see if the opponent ends up accepting this one. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, um, I could do this, so I don't... Ah, it gives me this game again, huh? Why does he have so many open? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, okay, now I matched a different player and I can leave mm -hmm. the other ones. Let's see if this guy accepts. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go. Okay, he starts with 510 score, meaning a lighthouse spawn. Mm -hmm. Um, I also got like good resources for a road opening. Guess we'll go here first. Perfect. Um, so do the uh, like music. Right where it should be water. Yeah, there should be land right here, so probably a mm -hmm. city. So let's go there. Mm -hmm. Um, ah, so he was 5 fix, 560 score, meaning probably uh, Imperius or Pardor or Kicking mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, I'll just go for like uh, pre road openings, so now I'm just saving stars. Mm -hmm. But you have uh, an obvious tech road, right? Uh, it's, it's fruit, so org. Yeah, I'll have to decide if I go uh, organization or fishing afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, guess I'll um, just move here for a chance to find a city, but I didn't actually find one. Mm -hmm. And I take a workshop in capital. Okay, he found a city, it seems, and picked up some tech before doing mm -hmm. so. Okay, here's the city. Um, but you have ruins there. What do you yeah. think uh, you'll get from ruins? What's your bet? Well, um, trade could be funny <laughs> now, like, used to be the worst thing you could uh -huh. get from the other. Um, the best thing I could get, obviously, would be stars. Uh -huh. Population also would be nice, um, organization and fishing also could do a good job here. Like, I wouldn't hate an explorer either. Mm -hmm. okay. Get an oh, explorer. there you go, okay. an explorer. Hey, and if we one. have barter. Mm -hmm. Okay. That will be fun. So you haven't met your, your opponent, but at least uh, a lighthouse, right? Yeah. Um... Uh, I, I need to f consider if I want fishing or organization here. Organization would allow me more upgrades, so I think mm -hmm. I'll go for organization. And let's take an explorer here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, that's fortunate. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. And their capital, approach. right? can see the capital in the in the west, right? Yeah, I, I can also get another city upgrade here. Mm -hmm. Like that's uh, that's a great start. <laughs> and let's also build a road to get to the other cities, I think. Or just third me next turn. I want seven for fishing. Twelve stars I need. Hmm. So you're yeah. you're you're positive that you're going on water instead of uh, like taking ri riding. I I don't think I want riding here. It doesn't mm -hmm. really make any sense. There is no direct land connection. Mm -hmm. like I I would either go for archery or uh, fishing. Mm -hmm. But the problem if I make um. And make a road now is that I can't make another warrior and have enough stars for the city upgrades, so... Mm -hmm. So what do you think about their game? How are they doing? Did they chop like a lot of forest, do you think? Or... Um, um, yeah, they had bad resources. 
There definitely had some shopping, I believe. Mm -hmm. mm, I guess I'll go for another explorer. Like, could backfire a bit, but. Yeah, okay, because it can go. Right direction, that's oh, nice. Oh, yes, that's lucky. Maybe a light fast? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, so now, cool. next turn, I want to make a port here. If he mm. doesn't make a unit there, well, then his city kind of gets stolen. Mm hmm. It also seems like I'll be able to get six cities, which will give me mm -hmm. the Grand Bazaar. So he will be on four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now I'm on four, but... Um, okay. So he took another workshop, meaning he doesn't have any vision on this at all, so... Mm -hmm. He does not know what's about to happen. Um... Okay, let's get this upgrade before I do the pour. Mm -hmm. mm. This way the port is range. Now I could choose to road in uh, the warriors already onto the city to capture them earlier, but then I couldn't make another warrior here and I kind of want to sustain this. Yeah, no need for that, so he doesn't have riders, he's not pressuring you, so... Okay, he's making oh, okay. port as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes Ramas quite interesting, unless I can just move into the city. Ah, I made a mistake, I need I need sailing actually, mm -hmm. because I need to go across Yeah, because the otherwise it's, there's the deep water, so you can't pass. Let's move here first to see what I reveal, but he also doesn't have like anything to defend this, so I wouldn't be surprised if he just resigns now, but uh, mm -hmm. let's see if he plays on. Next turn I want 3, 6, and 12 stars, 18, okay, I but I'm, I'm counting how many stars I need for next turn, so I need 12 for the roads to connect this. Mm -hmm. I could also do 7 for a port and then to rows, which would be better, it's 13 stars here and then um, 6 stars for remaining resource and capital, so that's 19. I, I think I won't spend anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they are playing. This is obviously a great Yada game, like I had the perfect start and... Mm -hmm. So in this in this situation, the only thing he can do is actually go uh, rammers and and kill your warrior. But he can't kill the rammer and the warrior with one rammer. Like a rammer only does eight damage to a warrior. Oh, okay, so he doesn't kill. So he needs mm -hmm. Some okay. other damage. Like he would have to road in the other warrior if he doesn't want mm -hmm. to lose the city. But it sure. does not seem like he has roads mm -hmm. because he went for climbing. And fishing, I guess. Yeah, he's just giving up the city, it seems. <clears throat> Took another workshop here using mm -hmm. fishing for. Okay. Border expansion. Wow, I don't think I would have gone for that. Like, that delays this giant even more. Okay, so I have like two options here. Either I go for a giant in capital for like the Yadak stuff, or I go aquaculture to ram his scout. Mm -hmm. mm, I mean, the better play would probably be aquaculture, so let's go for that because it's like a free scout kill. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I even got another <laughs> population I didn't account for because I captured the city. Well, that's mm -hmm. nice. I wonder if this gives me any better options now. So I could place a port here when I'm down to two stars. Um, place monument here and I'm at seven. Yeah, let's do this. Why not? Okay. 
I usually <clears throat> would want to um, place. Ah, no, I can place the Grand Bazaar in capital now. Get a giant this turn, and then place the um, Park of Fortune here for the stars so I can afford the Rama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of cool plays, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the game is pretty much over now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you out expanded him and he gave you yeah, this you know, CD for free. And mm -hmm. The count will only drop <laughs> as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. Okay, GG. Good job. Okay, let's see the, the replay. Um, I don't know, should I just watch it from an opponent's perspective or... Uh, yeah, maybe both. It's, you know, it's always good to... Let's start see. off with a split view. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, um, we have... Yeah, obviously great spawn, lots of resource indicators. Um, which is like a good sign to go for a road opening. Mm -hmm. I figured I'd go for the corner first because it's like more likely to have a city and there's also mm -hmm. an animal on top of it, like a real five tiles. Mm -hmm. um, like if you got good resource indicators to one side, like I got here to the north, it's also fine to go from the north first. But So this is like a, like a basic uh, Yadak play, right? Yeah, I, f I think it's pretty standard. Like, it can mm -hmm. go very wrong if you don't find the cities, but mm -hmm. if you find them, it's great. What about work. his spawn? No, so he, yeah. he actually did not chop that much. He, he had a lot of uh, fruit. Yeah, it seems like he just had organization. Mm -hmm. I think I actually saw that, but he took um, two mm -hmm. tier one tags before catching mm -hmm. the first city. So it seems like that were um, organization and fishing, and he didn't actually mm -hmm. have forestry. And I think he got the capital upgrade because he got nomadic tribe from the ruin. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, he took organization and fishing. Mm hmm Yeah, I mean more organization obviously makes sense for him here. Um Let's disable shared fog again. Mm -hmm. Then I get this explorer, um, which is great because um, the reason the lighthouse got revealed is uh, that allowed me to um, only need four stars to upgrade my capital, which uh, basically got me a natural city upgrade this turn I otherwise wouldn't have gotten. My economy is in great shape here, of course, like. Um, 11 stars per turn at turn 5 with Yadak, you, know, you don't get every game. Mm -hmm. He goes for sailing here, um, a mistake I would say for sure. Why um, is that? Especially now, um, going sailing as the first tech um, mm -hmm. usually backfires quite mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. And Ramas just beat up scouts completely, so, scout, so scouts um, like mainly the main use of scouts now in naval combat I feel like is to set up the kills on other rammers for your own rammers. Mm -hmm. But he just opens with scouts or well, he wants to open with scouts um, I don't think it's a good strategy. Mm -hmm. It also means that uh, he couldn't actually uh, upgrade the city this turn so I personally wouldn't have researched attack at all here. So he would have been at 9 stars which would have mm -hmm. allowed him to upgrade the city, either with animal and fish or fish and port. Mm -hmm. And he has the option to take an explorer as well to get like some vision on what's going on. So you're doing Yadak Think. Yeah. And this explorer was quite lucky because if there was you know only deep water i think you wouldn't get uh, this vision yeah I, I mean i knew that 
there wasn't just deep water, which is mm -hmm. my land for Explorer there. Like, I was hoping for the Explorer to actually go, like, south, mm -hmm. show yeah, sure. on mm -hmm. there, but... Or, like, that was what I expected. Yeah, but we also have to say that uh, you you were more lucky because your land mass is uh, far more, uh, you know, rich with uh, with cities. So you have yeah, I definitely got, six, <laughs> I got seven seven cities, seven right, cities right. without any problem, and but, he has four. Um, I would have to, I would argue that it wouldn't even be that unfair. Mm -hmm. Because like, he's playing the better tribe for this map, mm -hmm. uh, so he theoretically, like if he played it better, he probably could have also won this game. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he also made too many mistakes. Yeah. Like right here, like he doesn't have any vision because he went for a workshop, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So now right here, he sees me land with warrior. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this border expansion doesn't make too much sense in my opinion. I guess it gives vision on the lighthouse, but could also make a warrior to do that. Yeah, because there and was there was not, nothing in the mountains, yeah. so just you know some forest tiles, it's like hmm, not a good trade-off. Hmm. What did he get from the ruin? Hey, he got a nomadic tribe. That's why oh, he okay. got a level four capital. Okay. Hmm. Ah, yeah, the, the, the border growth, yeah, okay. Okay, so some uh, big mistakes, uh, and... Um... Mm, and, um, yeah, and that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, maybe now the, the archipelago uh, game. Uh, on uh, on with the uh, aquarium because the chat um, was was asking I, about that. Should I play against someone from the chat or maybe later? So we will do the this archipelago game and then. Um... Yeah, I think uh, aquarium has been suggested, so I guess I'll I'll show. But I believe uh, it's currently the strongest tribe on archipelago. I think Polaris also has some chances against them, but um, any other tribe, it's probably impossible uh, to win. <laughs> yeah, but still, uh, Aquarian has poor resources. So I, I, I know that I've, I've played recently some games with uh, with Aquarian uh, against uh, actually against Polaris, and and I and I won. But it's it it's tricky. So you uh, you have to. Uh, you have to be mindful. I actually did not build up my economy that much. I just went straight forward to uh, to trade enchants, and then you know, with this like kind of guerrilla warfare. Um, yeah, like from from the games I've played so far, in like the Aquarian Polaris matchup, like versus other traps and Polaris. Mm -hmm. Um. It's like really good for Aquarian to build like tons of amphibians because mm -hmm. other tribes don't. Really yeah, because they they break the ice. I actually in this game that I've uh, that I've won playing Aquarian, I did not get any crabs even because it was. Um, like... Well, I think against uh, Polaris, you actually want to focus on getting to Tridentians faster than mm -hmm. against other tribes because Tridentians mm -hmm. are like what really breaks Polaris, and before that. Like battle sleds trade better against amphibians. Mm -hmm. Like tridentians, but, but tridentians then are great to snipe the moonies and also mm -hmm. to the yeah, exactly and everything. And if Polaris doesn't produce ice, they are you know kind of hopeless and lost, right? Okay, let's switch to Polaris. Sorry, to um, to um, Aquarian music.
Uh, by the way, are you are you already a uh, pro or still a, a junior on, on the Arctic Wolves? Um, but like I, I can kind of tell the full story I get with your time now anyways. Okay. So um, maybe let's start how I started on Poly Champions. Like um, I originally joined over oh, you got an opponent, but but I, I guess I can do the story later. <laughs> Mm -hmm, sure. You're playing against Polaris, so maybe an interesting matchup. Mm -hmm. um, what we all we wanted, actually. Moving here is best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this. Uh, so let's explain. This is a recent change that the uh, Aquarian is starting with an amphibian, right? Because before it was not that nice. They were starting with a warrior, and they. I don't know what's your what's your take, but uh, then they were struggling like a lot. So. Yeah, I think Aquarian used to be like one of the worst tribes in the game. Mm -hmm. um, it's obviously become better for now for them. Mm -hmm. mm, how do I continue? So this? now they are like homage on on water, probably. Oh. Some people say would say. Well, like. Yeah, but they play similar, uh, like Omaji plays on land, but um, Aquarian is like much stronger on water than Omaji is on land, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like power-wise, um, it's not really comparable. Mm -hmm. But there are some similarities. But they have similar play styles, like they both basically go for a double rider or well, in mm -hmm. this case, double amphibian opening. Mm -hmm. um, wow, no city again. Mm -hmm. I might actually run into Glarus player quite early here. I don't know if I like that. Mm -hmm. but... Why not an explorer there? Um, well, the explorer would just go south and. Mm -hmm. I also need to build up my economy, like otherwise I'm mm -hmm. never getting to Tridentians here. Okay. I don't think that would be good for me. Mm -hmm. um, seems like the enemy Polaris went for a warrior opening. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the double. Wait, I'm actually not sure what's happening. Mm -hmm. Did he go ice fishing? Did he go. I don't know. Didn't really keep track of that. Mm -hmm. mm, where can I so where it? where do you think they spawn? Uh, probably in the west or in the north. Like it's mm -hmm. always hard to tell with Polaris because mm -hmm. because we haven't seen their land yet. Right? Well, like you can't actually see their land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I want to use this amphibian to mm -hmm. um, get the lighthouse as possible. I hope here is no, there can't be a m mountain, and because here is mm -hmm. land, this is going mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. um, flat water tire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we have to explain that uh, Polaris actually doesn't have their own land, uh, except their, uh, the land around their capital, right? So they have to freeze Well, only the, the land, like, they basically freeze the land, yeah. or oh, they are mm -hmm. close. So they, like they have to right freeze... Here, I, uh -huh. I like okay. that. So what, what will you do? Mm, I'll Did take smack, the smack the smack the Moody and then run away or uh, or capture. No, okay, I I, okay. I need to mm -hmm. city. I'll probably make like more units there. I hope he doesn't have battle sets yet because that would be a problem. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so so they started in the in the north. So he has another city over there. Mm -hmm. He sees this now. So I should. Hmm. I guess I move here first because I want to do that anyways. Mm -hmm. Now the question is: Can I do something about me getting frozen? Mm. 
Mm, I think I prefer exploring. Oh well, that's not good. At least I can break ice. I think you could have moved this amphibian next to to the other one and then uh, break the ice. And then you get you... here the ice. No, no, like those both those tiles. So then the money wouldn't be able to to freeze you actually. Um. So the the tile yeah, south. Uh, sorry, north, north, northwest, and then break the ice, and then. Yeah, but anyways, so not okay. uh, not possible anymore. Okay, so you get the lighthouse. Well, this is quite annoying. This battle sled is also quite scary. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is he has only one. Okay, so now if I move here... Ah, I don't have free diving yet. Well, that's another problem. I guess technically it's like bad to do an amphibian here. Mm -hmm. But I'm considering if I should do an amphibian or a warrior right there. Mm -hmm. Do you think he has more monies or or just? One? No, he. I don't. I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any extra units. Mm -hmm. And this amphibian probably has to go somewhere else, or else it's just going to die. So he kind of found me there. Mm -hmm. he moved onto the city with a sled. That's a good play by him. But the Mooney is there. Can dead. I actually catch this Mooney? I think uh, you can. I don't think 1 HP. Ah, uh, kills. It's like. Yeah, sorry. I, uh... Okay, so it's 1 and 4. I don't think a 1 HP rider actually can mm -hmm. kill a 4 HP mm -hmm. Mooney. Yeah. I think it have you HP. Uh, have you used the poly calculator? Yeah, but I basically used a browser app just to okay. check this out. Okay. Yeah, so let's explain. There is this uh, cool feature if you join our our Discord, or um, there is a browser version, so you can um, uh, you can. Uh, so the, the uh, a bot or or a website will will calculate some um, interactions. So like you know, if you want to smack some someone, or you know, if you are if you're wondering if you'll kill the you know the money here, you can type in um, uh, the attacking unit, uh, the defending unit, uh, unit, and then the poly calculator will uh, will tell you exactly uh, what the result will be. Very useful, right? Yeah, that's um, also important to know. Like, obviously, you can also like kind of learn the mm -hmm. results, but you can't have everything in mind, of course. Yeah, sure. You you don't have to guess. Okay, so he went for okay. the, mm -hmm. the freezing ice play here. And by the way, the, the link to Polycalculator is, is is in the description. So if you're curious, go ahead and, and check it out. Okay, so this is a little bit annoying. Now he got a warrior here. Mm -hmm. And he will probably make a battle sled right there. I'm also not sure if this will be a successful mission. Mm hmm. Because you have. Oh, you don't have fish. There. Okay. That's not good. That means okay. there's probably a battle set here as well. Mm hmm. So will you risk it or play it safe? About the this village? Um, I'll try to um, defend it with. Uh, but first of all, let's get rid of the fog. Okay, oh, runner. runner. Okay. That's, that's useful. Okay. Um, let's go here to break the ice. But you can also still get here. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, the rammer should be enough to bind with. Yeah, to end siege. Some of this. He... Can he get here? I guess technically he could, huh? 
Mm, yeah, he can because. I, uh, yeah, I need some. Uh, because uh, Emoni moves one tile on uh, like a dry land, but I think it moves two tiles on on ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, exactly. I'm mm -hmm. thinking about how to move my amphibians being ranged. Yeah, you have to spread right them now. if he attacks with the. Oh, okay, so no, no worries here. This here, right here is like the hardest part about the matchup. Um, mm. I don't have tridentions yet, but it's uh -huh. a bit at least I guess the good thing is that he didn't go for like full income. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he should siege with. Um, but fortunately, I got a rammer. Yeah, but uh, this uh, I think the so I I agree that the the bomber from the ruin was a uh, was a bit of a overkill, but I thought they changed it for uh, for a veteran, uh, so like a veteran uh, rammer, and apparently it's not a veteran, it's it's like no, it's a veteran rammer, but it's warrior. Ah, okay, so in this way. Yeah, because on but on land you get a you get a swordsman, better a swordsman, not a. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, so I, I thought that the rammer will will be you know twenty HP, not fifteen. Okay, well this game isn't looking too great right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you know something challenging. Like I'm getting frozen over there. Right now, well. I don't think. Yeah, I need to hit with this guy first, otherwise, I can't kill. Um, let's bounce here. Because this would have happened otherwise if I hit with a rammer first. Um, can he get here somehow? No, he can't freeze this. Unfortunately, not quite enough for um, a workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, moving here should be safe. Okay. Yeah, like this over here is a problem. Like he has the chance to. Okay, this is also a problem. <laughs> Hits the rammer. I would assume that he is the other sled to finish with rammer. Mm -hmm. Okay, he goes for the siege instead, using the warrior. Mm -hmm. um, let's think. Can I? Okay, is there a rammer? No, there isn't. There's just. I can kill the. Hmm, he's making a lot of moonies. <laughs> mm -hmm. It will be a problem. So. Okay, so now the question is does the 4 HP. Okay, I just looked it up. Um, I think I want to kill the Mooney. Damn it, he has ice over there, meaning he can get a sled in there. Hmm, bummer. Not good. Let's get this upgrade before I forget. Mm hmm. So, I can use um, amphibians to unsiege this. Suicide this guy. 
Um, probably use this one. If I move here, how much ice can I break? A little bit. Is it enough? So now I can move further back. Problem is here is still ice. So this is like the um, best safe spot to retreat to. Now this city over here will be in danger, however. Oh, there's land. Mm -hmm. And still get there. So how far are you, are you from Tridentions? Um, oh, I'm running out of time. What's your prediction? It's still uh, quite a bit away. <coughs> mm -hmm. I don't have any... I couldn't make um, an <coughs> Orient the city, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't have another Mooney here, I will be able to deny the city, but... Because this other, other um, um, amphibian is 10, right? The, the one that is next to the village. Um, this one, yeah, it has 10 HP mm -hmm. and it also has kill. Yeah, you are safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he wounded this guy, but the nice thing is it has 2 out of 3 kills. And you can't actually kill it this turn, so I would just kill the warrior. But mm -hmm. I, I will last with it with this amphibian. Mm -hmm. And then get the kill onto it. Oh, okay, you're playing with Max 17. X 17. I mean, I'll be honest, like at the time where I did the decision, I didn't think that much about it, but. <laughs> I think if if I uh, if he's the the person I'm thinking uh, he's like really good. He's also running low on time, and he still yeah. has all these units. But this is like a you know like a clash of titans. So you are you know you are so gr such great. Like I might just get both of you. Oh, he ran so. out of time. Oh, that's not good for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gave up because of that. Hmm. No. Well, that's unfortunate. Good, good, <laughs> good game. Been. Good game. It's been an interesting game if it continued. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll let's see the replay. Take a look at the replay. Mm -hmm. Okay, but well, like right now, I'm seeing it uncovered. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say he has like pretty much a perfect spawn. <laughs> uh huh. Like four cities within uh, well, two tiles away from his capital. Like that's mm -hmm. perfect. I only got two, but. It could also be a good Aquarian spawn. Um, yeah, he does the standard Mooney Warrior opening. Like, I've also heard people discussing like about the double Mooney opening, but I don't think he really had the option to go for a double Mooney opening here. A double mm -hmm. Mooney opening here. Why? Because um, he can only sled towards <coughs> the direction where there's a mm -hmm. water tile. Mm -hmm. Meaning he can only move two tiles uh, onto these three tiles. Mm -hmm. And the double Mooney opening kind of relies. Um, <coughs> but that's kind of similar to how Aquarian wants to play. Like, the Mooney also has situationally two movement. Mm -hmm. And um, the maths behind the opening is that you have to find a city in turn two and you have to find one in turn three. And then you can make like, I think you can perfectly connect your cities using a free um, outposts in turn 4 or turn 5, I'm not sure. But it's something like that. And it's like really crazy if it works out. I unfortunately went um, well, for the wrong direction here. Like I had to pick to either go mm -hmm. here or go, or go here. Like I saw some resources in both directions. I ended up going here, but there was nothing. Um, as we know, here would have been a city. <laughs> uh, 
But at least now I find this city and mm -hmm. maybe would have gotten that one otherwise. Just with double outpost stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, he went for an explorer and the explorer. Well, it at least reveals me. Mm -hmm. That's how he got the score, okay. So he has plenty of vision on you. Yeah, so he sees what's going on. Mm -hmm. Explorers with Polaris are like really risky. That's also yeah, the they are like I really like tricky. Polaris so much mm. because explorers, um, like you can you gain so much from having the information, but with Polaris, um, explorers can't go onto water. Like they can only move uh, through ice and through land. Types. Yeah, so they they don't have uh, yeah. So let, let's explain. So Polaris doesn't have the uh, those navy tags, right? So they don't have sailing, they don't have uh, navigation. So explorers yeah, Polaris can... mm -hmm. pretty much just relies on this one unit, the battle mm -hmm. flat. <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. the best unit by far. Very cost efficient for movement on ice, basically. And it has three attack to defense, costs five stars. Mm -hmm. It's basically a rider on crack and you get roads mm -hmm. for free if you want to say so, because mm -hmm. it gets the four movement on ice. But it has the downside that it doesn't work at all when there is land involved. Mm -hmm. like if you move it onto a land tile, you can't attack anymore afterwards. Mm -hmm. Or yep. you can't do the bounce and so on. So it has its downsides. And yep. you want to know that um, if you play against Polaris to uh, make use of that. Mm -hmm. Because if you position your units on land tiles mm -hmm. and, Aquarium, uh, and Polaris kills them with a sled, the sled gets stuck on red land tile and can't be bounced back to safety. Mm -hmm. It's like a similar thing actually when you play Aquarion against um, generic tribes. Um, like the best answer to Aquarion generally are Rammers outside of Polaris. Mm -hmm. And but if you use the Rammer to kill a unit that is standing on land tile, when the Rammer lands, and if you leave your um, Amphibians on land tiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh. Um, I hope my game doesn't crash here. No, nothing is moving. Yeah, I'm just being told that uh, Polytopia doesn't react anymore. <laughs> yeah. So maybe a quick. Uh, reload. I guess I'll have to restart okay. it. Mm -hmm. So remove your screen from the. Uh, let's restart the game, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we can tell the story with uh, your you being pro or or not. So, I originally started playing um, Polytopia in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, Poly Champions didn't really exist yet, mm -hmm. or it wasn't known yet. Um, I first joined the server, I think, in June 2018. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, it wasn't even actually called Holy champions yet it still was called poly uh, it was called topia royale okay and but the idea always has been um team based um mm -hmm. player games and so uh, we uh -huh, yeah go ahead mm -hmm. yet it was the first season where mm -hmm. when i started so shortly after i joined the second season started mm -hmm. um, i and for the second season uh, the team bombers has been founded um, so I figured I'd just join them because it's like a new mm -hmm. team. And I'm like new on the server. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I was like one of the first members there. Um, after the leader of the team stepped down later on in the year, like I don't know, half a year later, and mm -hmm. I ended up becoming the team leader and I stayed there for like about seven or eight months or so mm -hmm. um, for two seasons. Uh, in, the, in the second season, we managed to get to the semi-finals. In the third season, we lost out uh, 
on the tiebreaker game for and oh, to make it to playoffs. Mm -hmm. And in the fourth season, um, made it all the way to the finals, but kind of got stomped there. <laughs> mm -hmm. sure. And yeah, then I stopped playing because mm -hmm. I didn't really want to play so much on my phone. And, like I was mainly at home and I mm -hmm. preferred playing uh, computer mm -hmm. games. Okay. And oh, yeah, when mm -hmm. I returned mm -hmm. um, last year in December, um, quite quickly figured um, that I joined Poly Champions again because I want to match like some better players. Mm -hmm. Because um, the opponents I've been running, uh, finding in random multiplayer matches um, often weren't really that big of a challenge, and mm -hmm. you can also do like I don't know more interesting settings than. Everyone just picks the best tribe for the map, which often happens in random multiplayer mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when I joined uh, the Arctic Wolves, which was the successor team of the Bombers. And so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, playing this season as a junior player. And yeah, next season I'll be playing as a pro player. Okay. Again. Okay, okay so back. let's let's yeah, go, go forward. I think we were mm -hmm. In turn seven, I believe, or turn eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we get the Rama ruin. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I watch uh, from his perspective from now on. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's always more interesting to like see uh, how your opponent uh, saw the game. Mm -hmm. So he had this Mooney over there. Mm -hmm. And he already siege me. Um, a quick question: Where do you think you would would have been able to to unsiege if he, if not for this rammer, this lucky rammer from the um, I would have still had these three amphibians. Mm -hmm. okay. Like that was my original thought that I would unsiege the three amphibians. Mm -hmm. But Rama obviously helps me a lot here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was one of the better ruins I could have gotten, obviously. But like as you can see, the Rama only um, helps with like using one unit less, so it's not that much actually. I forgot to change back to his perspective. Yeah, I mean he also has the situation. It's kind of awkward. You can't connect the city using outposts mm -hmm. because there is no ice connection yet. Like he hasn't frozen the tiles back here, and this means that his economy also isn't as good as Aquarian's economy usually is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here is um one sec. Um yeah, kind of the unfortunate situation where my opponent maybe he had some um, connection issues. Mm -hmm. Like that often happens when you're playing on mobile and mm -hmm. like I don't know, maybe you're on the train or something. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, any anything they could have done differently to to actually win the the game? Do you see anything? And this turn he starts with how many stars? 15, Thirteen stars. Mm -hmm. Honestly, only thirty. Something seems off. He has three stars. Ah, oh, yeah, he has thirteen stars. Um. Okay, let's rewind. Um, he could use the uni to move here, mm -hmm. and then he can use his um, battle slats to kill some of my amphibians, mm -hmm. which definitely wouldn't be nice for me. And he can train two new battle slats or battle set or and a muni. Mm -hmm. um, like he probably should make a battle set over there. Well, maybe he makes one here and one here, one here and one here, or 
one here and one here. I don't know, I'm not sure. It's like not the greatest position for him either because like I'm also getting close to Tridentians now. Looking at the gate of power, he's at six kills right now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he could have killed two amphibians, so he would have been at eight and would have gotten next turn then. Mm -hmm. I am at four kills only, so I'm still a bit away from it. But once I get to get of power, I can use it for a level three upgrade, which mm -hmm. I can probably snowball into uh, getting enough stars for Tridentians. Okay. We can wrap this up. Um, so, uh, as promised, next game will be um, will be with the chat. Uh, are you friends with with Vors, uh, Meister Lampe? Um, <clears throat> I have Vors added okay. on this account. I I don't know if he wants to play on mobile or PC. Mm. So he says I either way. Um, so one option is uh, Imperius Mirror on Dry or Imo Mirror on Archie. Uh, um, versus Steam. Um, but I personally think Imo Mirror on Archipelago would be quite nice. Okay, so let's do one. one I don't know more. if no one has like a preference on what to do. Yeah, we haven't played. Sense. We haven't played uh, IMO yet, so maybe we'll play uh, Imperius after that on 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 dry with some with some random uh, player. Yeah, okay. Um, let's do a live game. Archipelago small. Mm -hmm. IMO. And IMO. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, well, it seems like we're ready to go. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get streets. Okay, side. <laughs> good luck. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, so we both don't have a lighthouse spawn here. Mm -hmm. I am kind of blocked by mountains, which isn't very nice. Um, I guess I'll have to go climbing. Unless I um, find something that's a. Okay, there are multiple ways. I guess it's fine not to go climbing. Okay, so Vor says I won't be st uh, stream sniping. <laughs> um, ruin our city first. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I go for the city first. Oh, seven fish! No Ooh. Ah, that's, nice. that's sick. That's sick. Oh, there is a city behind as well. Um, yeah, I have an impression that they've I don't know, changed something with the resources because sometimes they're just like so bad. <laughs> and uh, um, I will and... I will do the fishing capital first because if uh -huh. I take the explorer now and I find him, I will only get. Mm -hmm. Three meeting stars. And if he finds sure. the city next turn, I would get seven. So that's mm -hmm. the idea behind that. Hopefully, he has, you know, um, at least. Uh, okay, swordsman. Okay, uh, so hopefully, he has uh, uh, equal resources to yours. Because <laughs> Might yeah, be a, at least it's a short, now, short so, game. So it's not that unfair. Right now, I'm like thinking about where I want to place my port and also the monument. Oh, that's a terrible explorer. Mm -hmm. At least it goes back now, but it doesn't go very far. Um, next turn, I get the Altar of Peace, which I want to be using here, and then place a port here. So the idea is um, that I use the, that I want to use the 
I want to get a giant in this city, basically. I have... Mm -hmm. I'll get six population from a fish. No, I, I get... I can get seven from a fish, actually. Then another one from... Another three from the from the monument. Mm. And mm -hmm. two more from port connections, possibly. Okay, so he's over there, quite close. Get a pacifist monument. Guess I'll go here. Ah, okay, here's, here's the land connection. Um, let's get the altar of peace. And also port. Okay, how many stars do I need for a giant? Three, four, five. That's that would be that I preferably I would just place a port here that also upgrades the capital. So that's seven stars, but I get five back. So two stars here, four, six, eight, ten stars, which means I can make another warrior. Okay, he also got a city. Yeah, but... mm -hmm. Um okay, how do I play this? I could move in here blindly. Mm -hmm. I I can definitely force meeting stars at least, but let's mm -hmm. use the upgrade first. Because we can see the borders in the in the north, right? Yeah. This um... white stripe. Mm -hmm. Ah the problem is I guess I want to use this raft over here anyways. Mm -hmm. Because there is land, right? Yeah, uh, the shallow water right? in, in, indicates, indicates yeah, there is exactly. land. Okay. I found a city there, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, I um, guess I just use the fishes, but I think I don't want to make a port anyways. Mm -hmm. um, let's just use, let's just make an explorer here, why not? Okay. Uh, no. That, <laughs> okay. <is the> lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, at least that. <laughs> I guess Boris doesn't want to be reviewed. Oh, I can hit the raft. Nice. Okay. But there is one problem. Yeah, time. But I'm running out of time, and uh, the Vavis Rammer is. I might get ramped here. But I have enough for Rammer tech at least. Mm -hmm. it moved over there. Mm -hmm. This raft is from a different city, but I can ram it, which is nice. Yeah, it's it's in the uh, in range. Mm -hmm. I think I definitely want to land this raft and then pressure him with a giant. Like that will be deadly. <laughs> But I kind of got an option, like, um, there's a more economic approach here, um, where I don't go for, for a Rama here. Uh, he got a lot of stars, okay, a, a lot of score. Mm. Let's land this <laughs> one. Mm -hmm. I kind of got a choice here. Like, I can also hit this raft with a warrior, which kind of mm -hmm. makes it useless. And because I paid attention earlier, I know that he has a raft here. I can ram that one. Oh, he also has a giant. Oh, Ooh, okay. and Now I also put my rammer right next to it. That's not ideal. Yeah, but he'll have to get a port to, to get the stomp uh, damage, right? Yeah, but, or like kill it, yeah. But then it delays the, the giant. And then your giant can can come closer. Yeah, it delays the giant from being useful. Mm -hmm. At least. For something positive. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do I continue this? I guess here is the city, so yeah. 
Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Level 3 upgrade over there. Have Do you think you'll places. be able to hold this city in the in the east? Yeah, I definitely should be able to, especially with uh, the Juggernaut over mm -hmm. here. Um, I'm considering if I want an Explorer or not. I think I don't need one. Mm -hmm. Well, Explorer could give some valuable vision. Oh uh, no! Another one. Oh, that's that's painful. Yeah, but you know where where Vorce is, so it's you know. I actually would. Yeah, but I don't really see what he has in the back. That's like my concern. Yeah, here. sure. But this is like kind of a problem for him there. <laughs> this giant uh -huh. over there. Yeah, but, but like, um, I'm about to get mm -hmm. six cities, and mm -hmm. six cities means I'll be able to get the Grand Bazaar. Mm -hmm. and like the thing is, if he moves. Okay, he has more cities over there as well. So it's yeah, I think he kind of built the port for now. Mm -hmm. But like, I got the position to take like all the cities on the mm -hmm. map. So if I can just hold this, it will be mm -hmm. great. So you'll lock him from uh, from most of the map. <laughs> yeah. So he goes here now. He took an explorer here, probably a better one than I had. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think I move over here. Does like the most damage to him. Mm -hmm. And I want a safe port if possible. And always um, population growth in these kind of situations. Mm -hmm. It's better for a city upgrades. Yeah, on Archipelago it doesn't make it doesn't really make sense to get border growth, right? It's like very well on Archipelago it can be um, a good tool for um, some attacks. Yeah, sure, but it's very very situational. It's uh, I think it's, it's yeah you but you more don't... even more than on drylands or lakes. So obviously, if you see that your opponent will like, for example. Uh, get a so like is preparing to uh, to capture a CD. Then yeah, getting border growth might might work. But okay, so we are in a quite interesting situation here. Like he has the option mm -hmm. to like either use the giant to defend himself, but um, uh, he kind of has to come up with a plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, he lands the giant. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because this is his capital right here. Even oh, okay. though it isn't, but it's, uh, it's still a very valuable mm -hmm. city, so he doesn't want to give that one up. Mm -hmm. Okay, he goes for a Rama. I can't really um, attack the Rama. Because if he, if, he, uh, if he trained a warrior, he would kill it, right? Yeah, I, I would be able to kill it mm -hmm. at least. And probably he doesn't have a potential to Houdini or. Your giant. Yeah, exactly. Um, now I'm because it's it's already it's sailing. already up, mm, upgraded. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's better to um, just get a giant this turn. Mm -hmm. So this raft goes here, and this one takes the city. Hmm. Do you think you'll go navigation at some point? Um, maybe later on, but it's not that strong of attack anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, now the um, the bombers have three attack instead of four, right? So not that power powerful anymore. Okay, well, where do I want to use my monument? I don't really have a good use for it yet. Mm -hmm. So I, I just hold on to it for now. Oh, I forgot to make one here. Well, that's not good. Because, like, right here, it's the most valuable, probably. Okay, rammer attack. <laughs> rammer mafia. Mm, I don't yeah. think this was the best rammer by him. Because okay. I can kill that one quite easily. Mm -hmm. Okay, giant back on water.
Um, I can't go sailing though, but, but if I place a bazaar here, I'm at 30 stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can make a scout and... Yeah, that should be good. So now I can do... Um, scout here. I'll kill this one. Mm -hmm. Like this kind of keeps him very busy over there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, you keep applying the pressure. And now I can do... Um, oh, it's not in borders. Well, but I can move here and now yeah. upgrade. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, nice little trick right there. Um, yeah, right here I'm stacking up rafts. I'm currently thinking about how I want to use all those rafts. Do you think he has the vision on, on, okay, on those so rafts? Okay, would move onto like a lot of starfish here, but I don't know if it is like a very good play. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't really have anything else to do anyways because I got so many rafts. Mm -hmm. But no, nah, I don't think it was a good idea because um, I want to be contesting this and I need enough units to upgrade. I guess I can move on to two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, this is fine. So then, uh, how many, how, uh, how the, what's the cost of the, of navigation right now on your side? Um, 22. Okay, so you'll get it almost for free. Okay, but I don't know about this one. Like, I don't think it's very good what he's doing over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I guess he's just trading resources, but I mm -hmm. have a lot more income. So it doesn't favor him at all. And now I think I should be able to siege this. Like, the siege probably won't hold, but it still mm -hmm. does be nice. Like, how much income? Six? Like, that's a lot of income. He definitely, he definitely wants to make a push onto me. Mm -hmm. um, let's think about how to deal with this. So. Um, I, I don't think I want to take navigation this turn. Mm -hmm. Does this deal enough? Yes, it does. Nice. Um, could he possibly siege me? Well, if he sieges me, I can uh, just kill his giant. Should I mm -hmm. do it for... <laughs> it, it would be... Um... Yeah, let's do Houdini. Okay. But I don't I don't think he'll, you know, fall, fall into this trap. You think he won't let me do it, or...? No, like, I, I don't think he'll he will, uh, risk it. What, what should I risk? Or what is the risk? No, so like if he sieges, then you know, it's for you, for you, it's it will be quite easy to to Houdini, Houdini his uh, his giant. Yeah, let's let's just do it for science, okay? Yeah, okay, let's try it. Okay, I don't think he will he will he will uh, you know take the bait, but let's 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 see. I mean, he seems kind of desperate here, so where's <laughs> okay? <the chance> to <laughs> okay. It's uh, totally not obvious at all what's going to happen, mm. okay? <laughs> like, he also somehow has to deal with this siege, so... I mean, maybe he might have one prepared by himself. Oh, he has to move okay. back, okay. <laughs> so, Wait, I, I... I guess he has to use... Oh, okay, he has to scout. Mm. So coin says, um, not sure if going for scouts was a better was better <laughs> yeah, like than the just spamming best way is to have a combination of both. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would say, and like that's exactly what's been happening in this game so far. Mm -hmm. Let's get navigation now. So you even earned money. Um. Let's take Explorer. Maybe I should have considered like taking Defenders or something, but... Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so where's the ruin? Yeah, okay, here's almost nothing. I think this game is kind of over. Mm -hmm. So he is on four CDs, right? Yeah, I can uh, explain why I don't think that. Um... That, navi uh, that um, scouts are very good right now, or like, mm -hmm. why I don't think that, or why I dislike them. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay, I think if I hit this guy with a scout and a rammer, um, can't actually, doesn't actually have, to... oh, I misclicked. Okay, damn oh. it. I guess then I will just use the scout for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, so basically right now I'm sitting on a gate of power, but mm -hmm. let's let's just keep it in case he sieges something so I can pop a giant. <laughs> Like, I don't really need yep. to win this one anyway, so safe, here's safe, four safety, cities. Safety gate of power. He's so, what rammer. now? What now? Like, bombers? Yeah, that's good by him to go for scout. So, what's the plan to kill this giant? Um, Shaga, the... the... My own giant and rammers is okay. probably the plan. Like I could also do bombers, but bombers are not, so expensive. Not worth it. Worth it. Mm -hmm. Fifteen stars, right? Um, and they also don't deal that much damage anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they should be cheaper uh, then? In if they? I don't know. I mean, they got nerfed for a good reason. Mm -hmm. So they probably should. Yeah, but maybe maybe it could have been, you know, like this kind of trade-off. So like, you know, we, we lowered the uh, um the attack, but you know, you get them for I don't know, like ten or twelve. Um hmm. Can I get another Rama? No. Well, technically there is a way. Should I go for it? Um, do a little showcase. So now I will take Border Expansion. Mm -hmm. you know, or you can use Border Expansion on Archipelago. Mm -hmm. no, right here, okay. Rama, and Resign. you can attack again. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, this was a good example. Uh, offensive border. Um, yeah, back to the point. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I didn't really answer it because uh, I was kind of time pressure to keep playing mm -hmm. here. Sure. Um, if going for scouts um, would have been better than just spamming rammers. Mm -hmm. The problem with going scouts is that scouts are like not very good against rammers. Mm -hmm. So you have to have rammers yourself. And like, Scouts more play the role once both sides have rammers. Mm -hmm. Rammers can't one hit, and a rammer can't one hit another rammer. So you need to so use the scout to set up a kill. Mm -hmm. What about bombers for 10, 10 stars? I think they would be too strong again. I'll be honest, like, um, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Bombers. So GG's from Vorst. Vorst. strong because they had four attack. And He's a pretty GG shitty Vorst. map, bro. <laughs> I mean, it was definitely bad map for you. Like, uh, I may have had a city with seven fish. Um, yeah. I guess you had one with six fish, at least two. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, so a lot, a lot of fish here. Like the problem with bombers is, if they are worth it to use against a single mm -hmm. target, which is usually how you start making them, mm -hmm. when they become way too strong, once it gets later on in the game and both sides have like a lot of units because mm -hmm. they need splash damage. And but like, would they be overpowered with uh, with ten? You know, like 
they are they are also slow and uh, they can't you know attack and like so move, and, move and attack. It's easier to mess again. Like instead mm -hmm. of two bombers, you would have three again. Like that's mm -hmm. basically the situation that was before, because mm -hmm. like the previous state was, um, four bomber hits kill a juggernaut. Now mm -hmm. you need six bomber hits to kill a juggernaut. Mm -hmm. Suddenly juggernauts are like much stronger mm -hmm. um, than we were before because bombers are, take too long to build up and when you come back to the situation basically again mm -hmm. well you can well you need um, the same amount of stars um, to get the bomber number to burst mm -hmm. down juggernaut okay. again so so you wouldn't change anything bombers no, so I think with, it's with three, right three attack and um are, like are... maybe they are like one of the weaker units especially early mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. like um i think what mainly naval needs is like a really defensive unit that doesn't mm -hmm. have like a super offensive uh, purpose mm -hmm. because there's not a single unit that has more attack and uh, that has more defense than attack that's like so like a like that... a defend defender on 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 water yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, the, the Rama is the closest thing to that, but it is, well, it's a swordsman on water, effectively. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> but um, the current state of naval ba basically makes it so well, you just always attack there. It's not really any decision. Mm -hmm. Like, the only unit that does meaningful um, retaliation damage is the Rama. Mm -hmm. But the Rama is a melee unit, so it doesn't deal any damage to ranged units. Mm -hmm. Retaliation. Sure. Okay. Um, so let's let's continue with the with the review. Uh, the replay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Again, I thought my star my spawn wasn't the best because it's very likely that in the southeast is a city as suggested by all the resources present, but mm -hmm. I would need climbing to go there. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm thinking about possibly taking climbing, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, let's look at boss spawn first. Mm -hmm. He has only one fish, which isn't that nice for Archipelago. Or like we possibly want two fish in as many cities as possible, mm -hmm. because the meta on Archipelago is pretty much well, like you get all the naval techs, and that's pretty much all you need. Maybe defenders later on when you can afford it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in his case, even though it's Archipelago, it's he's kind of landlocked because it's like very limited access to to water. Mm -hmm. Um, wait, why do you mean landlocked? Yeah, I mean that uh, you know the 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 water tile is actually pointing uh, west, and so he 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 has uh, much worse access to. Um, what do you mean that he has worse water access? Yeah, so like he can't expand uh, towards the the center. Uh, yeah, he can as, only. Um, yeah. It, yeah, he has only one spot for a port, so he's mm -hmm. forced to go yeah. into this direction. And if he loses control of that, the game is mm -hmm. lost for him. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. I didn't actually spot what happened here. Yeah, he at least finds the cities early, so that's good for him. Um, and he can also be happy about the resources present in this city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go for fishing precap. Yeah, this crazy fish city. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is not great for him. He has mm -hmm. only one fish in the city again. Mm -hmm. Like basically the numbers that like really matter a lot are like two fish to get the early workshop and three fish for the level three upgrade later on using ports. Mm -hmm. Those are basically the main breakpoints that we are like, okay, this like three fish is basically ideal or at least having three fish. Yep. Yeah, but this explorer doesn't go as planned at all. No. <laughs> at least it reveals the lighthouse, which yes. will be useful later on. Yeah. 
population. Yeah, he also goes um, for the giant university with all the fish, which makes mm -hmm. sense, of course. Okay, gets the first port. But I get the giant a turn before him, actually, mm -hmm. because um, I got the extra population on the capital from the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Which means um, that I get the level 3 upgrade on the capital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so here comes the giant. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he, I think he takes an explorer here. Maybe he got a better one than me. Mm, yeah, def definitely. <laughs> but like, it wasn't the greatest one because it didn't go all the way back. Uh -huh. Yeah, and again, because like my explorers were so bad, I end up just moving into fog here and then finding out, oh, well, there is a giant waiting to kill my Rama. <laughs> mm -hmm. So kind of seven stars just get based, but mm -hmm. I obviously had the better map here. Mm -hmm. Because your continent is like um, five cities and his is four. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much how many cities mm -hmm. are on the like, starting continent because you get sailings or where well, you get uh, ports so early mm. anyways. No, actually, our continents are connected, so <laughs> my yeah, bad. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Like, I got the better accessibility mm. yeah. to like, the rest of the map because mm. I can port earlier, like towards the other area. Like, it's basically guaranteed that I get these three cities. So, mm -hmm. and, like, the cities over here maybe could have been contested. I, I kind of get guaranteed these six cities down here. Mm -hmm. And he gets like a four, he has on um, a one, two, three, four, like he basically mm -hmm. gets those for sure. Mm -hmm. And like those two possibly could be contested, but because of how the early game went, I was just able to take them. And also, mm -hmm. most advantage obviously plays a role there as well. Sure. And yeah, like if you take a look at the spotters, like it's he has like really bad port spots like this and the capital is like his safest port he can't really ha make like any ports behind the cities which is uh, what you usually want to do and then you get pressured so you can safely build up your units mm -hmm. and they can't just all constantly die like as soon as they move into the port to ramas mm -hmm. Yeah, so your cities are more in the back and uh, you have better... Um... I don't know if I'd like that he went hunting here, mm -hmm. but... No, oh, he's exploring missed the lighthouse. Yeah, I guess the idea was to get the lighthouse, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think someone in the chat asked um, if they can yep. play against me. I mm -hmm. guess we can do it after this replay. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at this turn again. Um, so, I guess what happened here is last turn because we went for hunting. He had less units to put into, or like, he didn't train a warrior in his capital at least. Which means that now he can't uh, sustain, like, the naval production. Mm -hmm. Though, if I take a look at it, he might actually be population captain as captain. No, he isn't. He has only two, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. But he goes for Ramas. I think it's the correct play here. It's the only way he can really kill the giant somewhat in time. Mm -hmm. But since he doesn't have uh, an option, maybe he ha no, he doesn't have an option to kill the giant using 
uh, suffocation by blocking all the mm. adjacent tiles. Houdini. Or Houdini. My Stellampe, that's the correct name for the suffocation. Like okay. Uh -huh. um, like, um, fun fact about uh, what actually used to happen when you pop a giant and you're getting siege. Mm. The unit um, that was sieging you, um, of course, like if there's an adjacent tile, it also gets pushed to the side, but it lost its movement for the next uh -huh. turn. Uh -huh. And if you attacked it, like with a rider or something, it wouldn't deal any retaliation damage because it had already lost its movement. Mm -hmm. So it was like a strategy, okay, you let giant siege you and you have giants next to it. And then you pop your own giant, you just mm -hmm. hit the giant, and you hit the enemy giant with your giants. But the giant doesn't retaliate at all because it had already lost its movement. Like, it's a really weird interaction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure. So do you think the uh, here moving the giant um, back on land was, was the correct play. Uh, but it was his only way not to lose the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think it's probably a correct way. He could have tried to pressure me instead with the giant. But when mm -hmm. he would lose the city and I would um, be able to pop my own giant probably with Grand Bazaar. Mm -hmm. In whichever city he decides to pressure with his giant. Yeah, I mean, it was mainly a spawn win. <laughs> mm, so, Vars says, uh, I would lose quite a lot yeah, right, of connections because, too. Um, let's keep watching mm -hmm. from his perspective. Mm -hmm. um, because the only way he can get port connections is through this city. Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't have any water on the other side of his capital. So as soon he, as he loses the city, it's pretty much GG because mm -hmm. an archipelago yeah. before port connections is mm -hmm. an insane disadvantage. That's yeah. for sure. And what about this uh, western side? Because you, you said uh, uh, it wasn't the correct play to um, to attack you with those rammers. So what uh, what would you do if if uh, if not rammers? I I think rammers are the best unit you can go for. But I think it was yeah. But you 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 said it's uh, it wasn't the, the 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 right way to to attack you in the in the in the west. So my question is what what would have been a better play here? What do you mean? I think it was... Uh, no, because uh, at some point he attacked you with this rammer, so to block this port, and then you said, ah. uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that if I were him, so um, my yeah, question I, is, I what, mean, what was the better play? I see um, his point of view, but um, he's kind of like just trading stars if he does mm -hmm. that. Like, he doesn't have any good options, really. Like, I guess he kills mm -hmm. a rammer this way, but mm -hmm. I could just kill his rammer in exchange, so... Mm -hmm. So, no no better place here. Yeah, I mean, his best chance, uh, his best chance would be to somehow pop, like, a lot of giants, but mm -hmm. I don't... Well, I don't really Not see uh, mm -hmm. how to do that. Like, maybe with mathematics, but mm -hmm. that would be such a big investment as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and he so he wasn't able to make any any push against you actually. So you you kind of locked him in the in the west. You locked him in the east. So and not a lot of giant potential for him. So yeah. GGs. Mm -mm.
Okay, so Christian would like to play uh, Lakes uh, Imperius. So let's do uh, Small Lakes Imperius. Uh, could you actually comment? Uh, yeah, so so it's our. Or you add me, and uh -huh. then I can accept your French uh -oh. request. But you can also just type your name in the chat. Wait for Christian if he doesn't. Um, life is life. Send me a friend okay. request. I would assume that that's. Christian. I guess that that's him. Mm -hmm. Let's do a lakes. What mm -hmm. did you want? Live lakes game. and curious. Mm -hmm. Yep. Would you agree that uh, Imperius is now, uh, like, if not the strongest, it's one of the strongest? Um, we made recently a tier list, and it's uh, on top place in all the. Uh, oh, maybe uh, except Archipelago, they are like on on top positions. Well, I think for team games um they're obviously better again when embassies are allowed mm -hmm. for one me once on um like where it's definitely some debate to be had if um possibly sebasi or Symantec could be stronger mm -hmm. okay okay but let's, let's take play spawn um so we see land over here. I think I'll go here first. Mm -hmm. Um, on this side, um, I wouldn't go because Imperius mm -hmm. has a and has a one hundred percent resource rate on land. Mm -hmm. and well, on empty tiles, and because this tile is empty, means that no none of the adjacent tiles can have a city. Okay, but there so... might be a city down here. But then you would have moved backwards, right? So not expanding really in the yeah. direction of your opponent, right? Yeah, but I, I think I'll send my second warrior over here. And maybe a third one towards the center. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have to decide on how I exactly do it. Because I also want to pick up fishing before I catch up a city. Um, okay, now I have to make a decision. Yeah, I guess uh, uh, exploring to the center usually is good, so I guess I'll go north first. There might be a city here as well, or here, so it's fine. Okay, so some fellow Germans would like to play with you. So we'll see how this how this uh, this game goes. If it's a quick one, then maybe one more if you have time. And if it's a long one, then we'll probably uh, finish with this one. Is it okay? Yeah, I think I could do another one if this one doesn't go too long. Okay, mm -hmm. He went for some kind of tag. Mm -hmm. Oh, mountains, not nice. Hmm. But I guess I still want fishing. Like I also see that ocean ruin over there. Mm -hmm. So you went like three warriors so opening. Yeah, to I was thinking that could go north mm -hmm. here, but mm -hmm. now there is this annoying mountain. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. usually, what happens with the uh, with the Imperius is going riding also, right? 
well, this is uh, on, on drylands for sure, but uh, like with the lakes game, so um, like you don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to do it. Like it could work here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it would be an option, but I figured it it'd be good a uh, good idea to go for the lake. But now I'm like kind of in a <laughs> annoying in an annoying mm -hmm. situation because I found these mountains over there. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I you have to walk around them. Mm -hmm. You are considering climbing, okay? Yeah, I think I probably should go climbing. I got, I'll get mm -hmm. mountains in the city as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's the city behind? Okay. Like otherwise, I would have had to go. So it paid off, yeah. yeah. Then it's like three, three uh, turns instead of two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it paid off, so it's it's a it's a really yeah. Nice, well, nice if city. I get the city, I might get punished mm -hmm. now because well, as I said, I didn't invest into any military unit like archers or um riders. Right. Mm -hmm. So I could get punished going for the city, but you will go for it anyway. I mean, I don't really have another choice, another choice for this warrior, so. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think um, I might probably have to go riders either mm -hmm. way, or at least riding, mm -hmm. because I can't connect anything to my capital. Hmm. Okay, now I got a choice either. Um, I save stars and I like big tech next turn. Or I make a warrior here, go for a port and so on, and try to get the wounds. Mm -hmm. How big is this lake? It's like it's not the largest lake. And can I make giants? Oh, he's actually right there. Oh, well, that's I guess I make a warrior. I have to be fighting. Mm -mm. Okay, so fingers crossed for this village. I want to pick up riding, mm -hmm. then the city. I, it's okay, you got very it. Very likely mm -hmm. that I meet him, so I'll do the explorer. Oh, he oh that was close. Oof. Yeah, those archers definitely will be okay. a problem, though. But it probably means that he doesn't have roads, so I should be get away with this. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is, well, how do you defend the city? Mm -hmm. But he has only one arch and a warrior in range, mm -hmm. so I guess it should be manageable. But obviously, so if you move problem. away, then they won't be able to um, to reach you. Mm -hmm. Like archery is very good from him here. He also took an explorer, so he has vision on me. He also has climbing. Mm -hmm. Let's see where he moves his archer. If he doesn't move it in range of this ruin and doesn't train another one, then I can go for this ruin. Does he hit me or not? Okay, he hits me. Definitely under some serious pressure though. But... Let's go here to get some more information. Um, I could go into the water. If I do that, I have not that many stars left. Ah, it would be very greedy to do that. I think I should prioritize military here to stay safe and defend.
This way all my units are in range to unseach the city. Has to be a warrior. People are asking if you have a uh, if you have a YouTube channel. Uh, no, I don't have a YouTube channel. Have you ever thought about that? Ever, like for any game, mm. not, not only Polytopia? Uh, like I. I mean, I considered it at least, I guess. Mm -hmm. But um, I get also would take like a lot of time to, <laughs> to make videos mm -hmm. and so on. But you had uh, those kind of thoughts, okay? Yeah, I guess I at least thought about it. I mean, I guess technically I also did make some or like record some stuff at least. But because I like just understood videos and uh, mm -hmm. not very high quality, <laughs> just me playing the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he sieges me here, but um, that's not too big of a deal because I got the right, I got units ready to end siege. Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> um, another question, very specific one. I don't know this one. Probably it's uh, some kind of a game. Maybe you could advise about Twilight Struggle. Uh, Do you know this game? I don't, I don't know about that game. Okay. So sorry, Alexis, we can't give you any <laughs> advice if it's a good deal for nine euros. And, uh, and another I question guess. about uh, blue stacks. I don't know what blue stacks. Do you use blue yeah, stacks? Yeah, I don't use blue stacks. What is it? Uh, oh, blue stacks is um, an app that allows you to play mobile games on computer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, 11 stars, then I would be at 6, 10, I could make a rider. But I could also upgrade this city here. Hmm. But I guess the level 3 upgrade hmm, will be useful. Maybe not. I hey, want some income now, so I do this. Um, so no explorers here because we can see all all his cities. You're not not going for the lighthouses, right? And I I was thinking to take the lighthouse with okay. something. Mm -hmm. I was hoping for a mountain, but <laughs> didn't get one, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, more riders. Yeah, so right now he will keep sieging me. Um, it's like kind of tough because like the units I use to unsiege this. Um, well, they are, they are just, they, they have a fate to die again, because I can't bounce my riders to safety afterward, mm -hmm. since I'm blocked by mountains here. But the good part is that I got a lot more cities, but mm -hmm. if he goes mining, I might have a problem. Mm -hmm. But for now, he just keeps making archers. Um, definitely not a bad strategy. Mm -hmm. All right, I can take this lighthouse. Then first lighthouse should get this. Mm -hmm. um, let's make. But isn't he here. focused too much on on? Attacking you because he's I, I don't see him upgrading his uh, his cities on or getting on on water which will be I think quite quite important in the late game. Um, yeah, it's definitely not uh, optimal. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I could bounce this one away, but I think 
why do I want the killing unit to be? Like that's what um, I should think about right now. Hmm. I don't really want him to get vision onto this mountain for free, but he might have vision here anyways already, mm -hmm. so it's not yep. that easy. I guess it works this way. Mm -hmm. I could have bounced it out to make a warrior in there, but he has so many archers anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and you save money. Yeah, okay, so now he finally decides to move up. I think he should have done that a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he obviously is attacking this city in the center, but uh, on the other like hand, one he's thing playing that quite, quite defensively, right? Yeah, like one thing that would help him a lot here would be if he added in um, defenders. Mm -hmm. Because defenders are very hard uh, to kill for me here. Mm -hmm. So what's, uh, what kind of tech would you pick uh, next? In his position? No, no, in your position. <laughs> Oh, so many forests. Yeah, it wasn't a good move. Um, I'm. I either want roads or I want archery myself. Okay. Because like this really is the problem. Like I might go roads and then archery. Uh... Okay, let's do it this way. Bounce back. Kill here. He actually can't siege me this turn, so there is that at mm -hmm. least. Yep. So can, he can only kill your. But if I your... make warrior here, I get siege, so I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I have enough for roads next turn. Mm -hmm. And do I need this guy for something? I want this ruin eventually. Yeah, but it's like with this, uh, you know, bad mountain. I think it's better if you scout with the with the raft. It will be definitely faster than the warrior or, or this rider. <coughs> Yeah, so it seems like he's spending all his resources on those archers. But without the warriors, hmm, I don't think it will it will turn out good for him. Yeah, this forest right here is a bit annoying because it will prevent me from bouncing back this turn. Mm -hmm. And it will prevent me from even more. But I can build a road here. I should be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, he goes for riding now. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I definitely need a road here. Could consider upgrading the city. I probably don't want to go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, this rider attacks out this guy. And. Make a road here to go back. And um, where do I want to go actually? But I'm finishing the kill with a unit that I want to throw away because this guy is basically dead. Mm -hmm. And. I'll move right here, I guess. Running 
out of time. Yeah, yeah short on time. Remember to move to rat, yeah. Oh, I forgot to move this guy. Yeah. Oh, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But does the riding here do him any good? It's like. Uh, I don't know if I like this approach. Mm hmm. Wow, he doesn't siege me. Wait, where did he? Ah, uh, where is the rider? Yeah, I don't know about this one either. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do I have skills on something? This one has skill. Yeah, here should be a city, so I should be mm -hmm. able to go from there. Yeah, there is a land there. Like, he's not interested in the water at all. Yeah, so you're surrounding him and uh, um, he's so focused okay. on... Let's take a look. I want to stack up kills if possible. I think kills and the warrior are kind of useless, so I might as well do this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's got a kill here, why not? Technically, I could kill this one, but I don't think it's that useful. Mm. If he doesn't have roads, he can't reach my riders. Oh, come on, server. Uh. I don't know, I guess I'm just stalling and trying to play out the advantage I have from having more cities. Mm. Like once I get this city, I can then go to connect like all my cities, get Grand Bazaar, that will be good definitely. Mm. Okay, well, I don't know about what he's doing there, but I don't think it's very good. He's got a veteran archer here, but, but it doesn't matter that much. Yep. Because I have roads, I can actually reach his riders here. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, he might actually have his population cap. Two from Luster. Okay, he can actually make a unit there. Well, he didn't make one, but that's good for me. Um. I can get a veteran rider in there. Mm hmm. Yep. And now. That's always nice too. I can also to get, get a veteran siege. Mm hmm. But I make a road here. Okay. Yeah, and then you'll kill one of the riders. Or both of them. Okay, so now. All my riders should be able to reach there. Or will we be able to kill both or just with this one in the... Wait, wait. Oh, actually, did I make a mistake? Ah, I need a road here. Okay. Um, I can kill this one. I can kill okay. another unit here. Mm. Just thinking about how to attack. Yeah, I think taking out the archer is better. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I, I okay, but I maybe should have paid attention to how many kills I have. Gate of power. Mm -hmm. Where do I use it? I don't know. Use it here, I guess. But maybe I should have used it somewhere I... else. <laughs> I'm running out of time. Oh, I forgot to make a warrior here. Now he gets a free siege. 39 me meetings. Yeah, 39 me stars. 
I think it's GG's, no, not yet, okay. Yeah, he has only 3 cities, he's like very odd expanded. I mean like, he will get his own gate of power soon, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, he uses it here, but that means he doesn't get a giant ever. Yeah, but I can just move in here, so... Yeah. I think you should. Mm -mm. Oh, my Whatever. game is crashing. Well, that's not good. Ooh. Um, I'll have to restart. Mm -hmm. I can the screen share again. Mm -hmm. Okay, not too much time left. But go, go, go. Let's see the relevant stuff. Kill this guy. Kill this one as well. I don't know, make it poor. Oh, didn't connect yet. Oh, it's too I far I think it's away. too far, too far. Well, maybe you should have thought One, about two, that. three, four. No, it actually should connect, but I don't know. It should be five yeah, tiles. Out of time, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's five tiles, so I, I, I think it should connect. Yeah, no. I just didn't check it before I uh -huh. play support. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, there are five tiles in between. He's going for a knight, okay. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Last resort. Hail Mary. Oh, he made a mistake where he can't unseach. So I guess your opponent is one of those who is playing until the last man standing. Oh, resources. Okay, resources. Mm -hmm. Could make my own knight, huh? Yes. But I had to do this. Um, nah, let, let's get the connections going now. Mm-hmm. That's good saying. Okay, we gave up. But okay. GG. Get the grand uh, so, a quick question. Do, do you have time for one more game or do we... Uh, I can do one more, but... Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what it, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can pop the giant. Yeah, but we can for playing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, maybe a quick, quick um, kind of summary of this game. So, we don't talk that much about it. Quick summary of this game. I'll, I'll just watch it from his perspective. Mm -hmm. I think archery is a good strategy. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, the problem was that he was like too focused on just making archers before mm -hmm. really advancing. Like, I was exploring at the same time. Like, he had no units going around the lake looking for more cities. Yeah, but right here. Wait. Okay, but the city's far enough away. But. Could he have? No, he couldn't siege me. Yeah, he goes for climbing. I think that's okay to do. But, um. You also need to think about like how to completely kill me here. Like here he gets a star ruin. Mm -hmm. like, I would think, okay, go for Smivery, get a fast giant here. My opponent is on riders. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to kill giants with riders. Right. 
like he has to go either for defenders or for a giant here. But instead he goes for forestry and not mm. the best move, I think. Yeah. Mining in Smivery would have been a lot better. Mm -hmm. like, and a swordsman. Because this is this is the the front line city, uh, front line city, right? This, this yeah, one in the so close uh, with with you. the mountains. So if he gets a giant here, like I'm in very big trouble. Mm -hmm. Like definitely go for mining here. Like where was the situation? Yeah. Okay. So this city has two population. Mm -hmm. Um, using two mines in the forge, you get. And the fruit, you get a giant here. Mm -hmm. 23 stars for the tax. Then 17 for the upgrade, but you get 12 back from resources. Mm -hmm. Like that's sort of in condition, I think. And then swordsmen feel like a similar purpose mm -hmm. as defenders. When you mm -hmm. combine them with archers, so I can like frontline for your archers. So I have to hit the, if, have the swordsman first instead mm -hmm. of the archers. Yeah, so pro tip, don't get too attached to um, to the text that you've picked uh, at the beginning. And, you know, you have to adapt your strategies, right? So if there is a good city with... Uh, yeah, with here, the... like, this was such a random riding purchase. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. why are we, like, where it's not even, not even mm -hmm. a single rider has been created. And, like, how do riders help here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You already got archers, I don't think mm -hmm. that was a reason to go for Yeah, and also the thing that, you know, if archers don't have support of uh, of warriors, they are very vulnerable, right? But like, so. if possible, you want, like, a, an even tankier unit, like defenders, swordsmen, mm -hmm. or giants, but... Yeah, but even with the warriors, so if they are non, on um, yeah, like, let's, forest let's tiles... Take a look here. Like, now he buys roads, so he bought mm -hmm. riding and roads, and did mm -hmm. basically nothing with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't the right an answer. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess. Think, like... I think we are good with this game. So, oh, to, to yeah. Gaming X, send you, send you a friend request. Okay. Um, is there a specific matchup you want to play? Mm, just a sec. Um, hey, could do continents. We haven't done that one yet. <laughs> Let's ask. Maybe they want something specific. Like it doesn't here. necessarily have to be a mirror matchup, but. Mm -hmm. They are not responding. We could also just go continents and go random tribe and send to game. Yeah, we, um, we were wondering if you have like a preference on which map we play and uh, which tribe. Someone has suggested dry or continents. Yeah, but well, like I'm waiting for them to. Uh, so two gaming. Yeah, like maybe it was a suggestion from someone else if two gaming doesn't have a preference. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I would have enough time for an, for an FFA anyway, so... No, 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 today is a, it's a 1v1, so maybe we'll do an FFA, we'll do an FFA evening from time to time, but they are like so time consuming and... I think for FFAs, like FFAs become a lot more fun when embassies are not allowed. Mm-hmm. 
because like I used to like uh, uh, FFAs a lot like uh, five years ago because like everyone was just fighting right like if there was mm -hmm. a guy next to you you attack you don't just chill and make a peace treaty and so on mm -hmm. it's like really action focus and nowadays it's like you have a send peace treaties to everyone build embassies yeah I haven't sent a game invite yet yeah because um we are we want to know like which map you want to play and like if you want to play a mirror match or which tribe mm -hmm. yes you have to decide to gaming x because we like are someone has suggested that we do like we can do random as well so if you want to do that and you own Sebasi. Okay. They want random, so let's do continent random. Random tribe. Well, I'll go with random tribe. I don't mm -hmm. know what he will take. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I got Imperius. Actually, I'll do a new one. I don't yeah. know about that. Yeah, no, let's, let's do something else. Yeah. Uh, I'll send a new game. So maybe... Um, yeah, okay, Quetzali. That, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yep. We haven't had them. So, yeah. Yeah, if you want to, you can also pick a tribe or you can go random tribe yourself. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Why can't you join? You should be able to accept the game. You will have to go on accept game and then choose a tribe. He isn't playing on Steam, he's playing on mobile. No. Uh -huh. can, can you play other multiplayer games? Or is that not possible for you? Maybe you can they also could... send um, a continent. Maybe they, they could invite you. Mm -hmm. You can also send a game to me yeah. if that works. If you can create your own game. Okay, he can send me one. Okay, let's delete the other one then. Mm -hmm. And I think Katsali was fine. Yeah, Katsali. So let's mm -hmm. just take that. Yep. Let's go, Katsali. Like. See what he is playing. 625 score. He has something. Oh, he's Simanti. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that yeah. will be fun. But I can't go to the center. The uh, Cymanti is probably the best try, but Let's see if I can make this work. Cymanti with a lighthouse spawn. Didn't pay attention what he did, but he has 705 score already. Mm -hmm. Suggesting Shaman to corner. Okay, but at least I got a decent spawn or a decent start. Mm -hmm.
Uh, why you didn't get the all the special tribes on? Um, uh, on Steam? Because I didn't buy them on this account yet. I'm not playing that much on Steam. Okay. Um, I can get the lighthouse soon here. Mm -hmm. Sure. But I may want to consider taking explorer here in the capital, so I can. So I'm upgrading the other cities first. Mm -hmm. How are the resources in uh, uh, with Ketsali? Um, and uh, I, I mean the mountains. Uh, how is it with the uh, with the metal? No, they have an eighty. They just have an eighty percent metal ray. Mm -hmm. Okay, ruin. Nice. Let's go for the explorer now. Mm -hmm. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, I was kind of betting that this. And at least, if we Yeah, lighthouse. <laughs> lighthouse. Don't have to go this way. No. How yeah, much? And the five I stars. Seven. Mm -hmm. Need 14 for a poor. Yeah. I make a port here next turn, but I can only make a warrior. But yeah, on continent's map, map, it's highly unlikely that there is a connection. So on lakes, uh, yeah, I would risk the ex this explorer, but on, on continents, no. Yeah, like it's kind of annoying because like now I have to move in here blind uh, yeah. without knowing what's happening. But I guess the good bugs part are is coming it's... for you. The oh, bugs wait, are coming. Oh, resource win. Okay. So that means I can go port here. I think I have to kill the fish, or else I won't be able to get this upgrade. Because if I buy, if I do fish and port here, yeah, fish is, has to die. You're so cool. Buy. But this, it's like more efficient because like now I can. No, I'm joking. Double defender this turn. Okay, he's over here. So it should be somewhat safe to just move here. Yeah, you, sh you shouldn't be watching the stream right now anyways while you're playing. Okay, nice, I found a city. Um, do we just keep making defenders? Probably. Could make a scout over here. Mm -hmm. I I don't have any experience like playing uh, <laughs> against Cymantium continents with like a random tribe at all. Actually, so it's kind mm -hmm. of interesting. Mm -hmm. Something new. Okay. Yeah, I also, I'm also not playing continents that much. Usually it's lakes or drylands. Yeah, so the plan for this turn will be to pick up sailing and go for an explorer here. Uh, this should reveal mm -hmm. Simanti, hopefully. What's your score? Uh, uh, above 2k. Okay. Yeah, I found them. Mm-hmm. Curse of Shaman, all the way down here. Oh, well, that looks nice. Like, I should be here a lot so earlier. there's another, another continent that none of you have access to. Exactly. Okay, and now I can just keep moving in here. Mm hmm Like, I'll be the first one to be at the continent, so that's nice. Yeah, so on his side it's a bit unfortunate because... Yeah, so he could go, you know, um, archery, right? And then he would have reached the, this continent, but other, so. 
now you'll get it definitely so at least the the eastern part yeah i mean he either goes archery or um right shy yeah but the right is is this is the expensive so you know in the early game you can't get them easily yeah so but by that... turn nine you could have them if you would just uh, yeah make them. okay he's doing some aggressive plays with this shaman well like the shaman will just realize that he can't move anywhere there so now he doesn't have his shaman to boost this unit. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. So he's uh, like being very, very brave and aggressive, moving it so far away. And I think I will try to not give him meeting stars yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just connect the city. And where do I want to port? Since I'm controlling the water anyways, as aggressive as possible, I think. Um, yeah, I think I can land this guy here to go for the cities, and I can kill his warrior. I'm thinking about a position where he doesn't see me. Mm -hmm. That was the idea here. I can maybe go for the lighthouse with this raft. Oh, where is the ruin even better? No ruin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. he discovered okay. where there's a bait. Oh, he found you. Mm -hmm. I would assume there is probably going to be a hexapod behind. Mm -hmm. He wants to siege me there, but. Oh, ketones, okay. But he still didn't go for a centipede. Like, this is a common mistake. Mm -hmm. He border growth this capital. Mm -hmm. But, like, now he, he has three extra population. Mm -hmm. But if he went for population growth, he would have had a centipede by now. And mm -hmm. then could have used Park of Fortune for a free upgrade somewhere. Yeah, but with this crazy play with the with the shaman, it's like hmm, I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> because you know, without boosting at the beginning, it's like Yeah, but um, mm. I, I just mean it's like one of the most common beginner mistakes mm. to Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 I, I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, especially when you don't have a giant, it's pretty, yet it's pretty much always bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, since he has met me anyways, um, I might consider just going uh, hunting to be safe, but I mean, I can just go here. Without being in any, uh, without being under any threat at all, since mm. he doesn't have a shaman <laughs> to boost the sex bots in range. Um, I want to upgrade this guy to a scout, I think, so I don't get an explorer ruin. Um, this gives me the option to either go. Um, Uh, to either go navigation or go for the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer we don't want to get sieged, so let's just move behind the city. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, what is this lonely shaman doing there? Yeah, he's <laughs> somewhere down here. Uh so he's on the like a yeah we are, we are unfortunately not playing omaji today <laughs> lord of the rings but here's the... uh, an omaji cosplay um turn 11 rider what could you could you say again i i said turn 11 rider <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he'll be able to reach this village before you, but I, I don't think so. Um, it seems to me like there's a river, but there's no way to go across. Yeah, yeah. And now he also moved his um, 
makes a fucking range of my scout. So I yeah, can just kill it. Both of them are dead. Oh, resources. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Another resource ruin, right? Because the first one was also stars. I think I'll go roads so mm -hmm. I can get. Um, but I don't actually need roads for a giant. I can also make a port here and mm -hmm. take lighthouse now. So mm -hmm. it might be too bad. But I yep. want roads to upgrade this city. Mm -hmm. Let's just go roads. Yep. Will be useful anyways eventually. Mm -hmm. And Ooh, another order. room. Um, so lucky. Oh, another ruin. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, on continents, like, the ruins are, like, really weird spots. I have, uh, I have experienced that multiple times. Like, I've played a 1-2-V-2 on continents once. Mm -hmm. And I think the ruins were, like, in really unbalanced positions. I think I just wait behind the city, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, Where is the shaman? Yeah, I think it's somewhere in the corner. Did he get uh, the lighthouse yet? Ah, I think he just got the lighthouse. Okay. <laughs> so he's he's close. <laughs> uh. Actually, a mistake by me to not move the raft into borders anywhere. Uh. Would be kind of yeah. Nice. Why 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 would he you know produce more of those hexapods there like you know I mean, just he's sitting he's ducks either, like everyone <laughs> begins yeah. at one point right? So from psyche it would have been at least you know the some advantage that that you can you know he could poison your boats and get the, um, some kills eventually. Where's the sex support going? Let's click onto it. Oh, it doesn't move at all. Okay. Mm. But this guy is there. And I can also kill the other hex support, so. Mm. Let's <coughs> just do it. Okay, where's the warrior? Mm. Um. I wanted roads here. Okay, now I got a giant. Mm -hmm. I think I forgot to take a starfish, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's just sit on the starfish for another turn. Star shot. Where's the shaman? Shaman. Review yourself. I think yeah, he's I'll, I'll I think he's time. waiting there for you in the fog and once you step on the village, you will convert <laughs> convert your your warrior. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately the shaman does not have dash, so <laughs> Oh, no, come on, there's there's a trap waiting for you. I don't think it would be a very successful mission. Yeah, so we are not, you know, like being mean, but uh, moving your shaman so far away from the from your units is uh, is is not a good idea. So um, with Simanti, you have to, you know, rely on on boosting units because they don't have access to to the road technology, right? Yeah, and like it also makes the units a lot stronger. Like, mm -hmm. 
not like Samantha before the shaman is a lot less scary. Mm -hmm. So to gaming, if you you know want to play Samantha more, you have to rely on the on the shaman. It can't move so far away right from. Right now, it's just a bunch of key tots. Yeah, yeah. And if you're if you're if you're going on on defense, it's it's also not a not a good idea because as you see, Meister Lampe is expanding and uh, he'll have most of the map. Okay, let, let, let's do some fun stuff. Okay. Yeah. So now two Brid things bridges. could happen. Wait, do, does the bridge act for the bridge wouldn't even connect? <laughs> okay, so we'll have a bridge game in. Yeah, Which place are in this game? Mm -hmm. We have we have to do something. Let's let's look for the shaman first. Oh, where he is? Oh, okay, <laughs> so it didn't. Oh, okay, so unfortunate that he <laughs> right. it, it wasn't yeah. even able to to reach the the, the lighthouse. <clears throat> okay. okay, but let's kill this guy. Okay, warrior waiting behind. Mm -hmm. Let, let's see if he got it to him. He got the things to unsiege. Oh, I, I got a, I got a dirty idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're I mean, me. You're mean. One, two, three. I I talked about cloaks earlier. Got to got to start using them now. Mm -hmm. You are being mean. Yeah, so I guess our friend doesn't have enough to unsiege. Yeah, I think he moved the sexer pot over here. And so mm -hmm. now it's not actually in range to unsiege the mm -hmm. city. Okay. And well, the shaman also has come to his end. Mm. <laughs> he could have saved it if he placed mycelium somewhere here. Mm. Mm. But I mean, it's probably dead either way. Mm. Yeah, so to gaming, uh, um, we assume that you are kind of new. So. Shaman has this, you know, beautiful ability to to boost units, and um, it's a it's a it's different than the the other mind benders that you will see in the game. I I'm not sure if um, he's actually listening right now, though, because I think Bart is playing his turns and he can listen at the same time. Yeah, but maybe they will listen later. Okay. So, so Shaman uh, has this ability to to boost uh, um, differently than than the other mind benders because uh, regular mind benders they heal units. Uh, they can also convert. Uh, Shaman can convert as well, but uh, what he does, he is boosting. I can't actually go there with a the rider because. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm blocked by Son of Control. Mm. Oh, I need climbing. Well, that's the climbing, man. <laughs> Didn't uh -huh. know that. That's, um, the cloaks couldn't move through mountains if you haven't researched climbing yet. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I was also surprised uh, playing one one game that you need that that you need to to actually uh, get get climbing to for them to move because they they are like. Uh, um, like the Simanti units, they they have this sneak, right? And yeah, Simanti actually needs that as well. Too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -mm. 
I mean, I'm absolutely going for the capital with that cloak. Like, I can ensure mm. that. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what's happening in the back there, but oh, a centipede. Oh, centipede. Yeah. Oh, -ho. finally. This will make your life a bit harder. Another one? With a mine and Park of Fortune, or does he not have the stars yet? <laughs> okay, so do I have enough units um, to actually. Well, let's go here, and I think like I want to I want to get cloaks here, so I mm -hmm. have to um, deal some damage in order to get them there safely. Mm -hmm. But I have an idea. I just need to kill this guy and then move the cloak onto the city. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, he actually doesn't have anything in the bag. Mm -hmm. Hey, we talked about bombers earlier. Let's get a bomber in here as well. Okay. I don't think they are necessary, but okay. Whatever makes you happy. I can get another one. Hmm. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have any money left for clothes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Samanti uh, has too many chances left. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess, you know, like most of us had been there when you were, uh, you know, learning the game. Okay. So yeah. Goes in. Now oh, he knows that there are cloaks. Mm hmm yeah. You know, probably if I watched, you know, like my first games, you would have been, you know... Oh, he has philosophy. Oh, okay. As bad as, you know... But, um, do you know what's about to happen? Uh, yeah, uh, boat and, uh, and a cloak, so... So, Shaman is dead, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, unfortunately, oh wow, how oh, enough the bombers, right. <laughs> well, I was a bit disappointed about the damage of that bomber, I'll be honest. Yeah, so um, I guess maybe I have some, you know, points with the, like, making them cheaper. Can I even kill the centipede? I don't, ah, I can so many scouts over here. Um, cloak has to move. Get uh, two out of three rider. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I think it's the GG's. Much. But I'm not sure, can three ketones kill? Um, mm, I guess they, I, they can, I, I, they could because they, they also poison, so yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure if it, it's enough. Let's, let's ask Polycalculator, could you? Mm, I'm just in the browser right now. Okay. But so I will. Let's ask. Nah, he it, it doesn't work because um the ketones would have to be boosted, I think, for it to be enough. Wait. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Keton is 15, like Defender. 15 what, what HP. Uh, uh, Kyton is 15 HP. Yeah, one had only 10 HP, but. Oh, okay. It didn't matter, anyways. <clears throat> Defender. No, they don't. They don't kill. Oh, we got capital now. Mm hmm. Okay, GG's to gaming. We can, we can take a look. Uh, on. Mm hmm. What she did? Yeah, actually, uh, before I forget, could you share all the all the links in the private chat? Well, I'm later? not sure if all. Of yeah, I, I see that that we did not save the, but at least the, the five. I, I I can do it. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can review a replay first. So I'll send them you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so I can put them in the in the description. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at Simanti. Mm hmm. So, you have a lighthouse spawn, obviously great. When mm -hmm. you have lighthouse spawn with cement, you usually want to move your uh, shaman to the best corner in turn zero. So you can get the upgrade for the workshop right away. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so to gaming is asking for all the tips that we can give him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if you go for the warriors, you don't want to move your shaman away because mm -hmm. you can use the boost ability and then the warriors can move two tiles instead. Mm -hmm. So you could have boosted with the shaman instead this turn instead of moving him mm -hmm. and send the warrior over to the fungi because there's probably a city. I would have sent him on this tile personally. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this is fine to do again, but mm -hmm. okay. So let's see. Resource is good, at least no city wall. Mm -hmm. Organization and riding, I think that's fine. I personally would be thinking about a fast centipede. Mm -hmm. Organization and um, mycelium would be a good idea here. Mm -hmm. eh, hold on. Okay. Uh, what happened here? Turn five. Why? Why do you have no stars? Ah, you went for the fungi here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really matter in which city you do it. Uh, 
Yeah, so you shouldn't be, you know, exploring that much with uh, with the shaman because it this is a really vulnerable turn. unit, and you know, and seven, two okay. warriors, and it's dead. Okay, turn six. The so shaman moved here. Mm -hmm. Seven. Yeah, but the shaman definitely should move away. You want to use them to boost your units. Mm -hmm. And like if you like you could go for like what you can do on continents of Cymantius, often where like these small rivers. Mm -hmm. And here you even have water inside your city borders that connects to me. You can place an Elgai here and then mm -hmm. like you can just flood in hexapods over to me and if you have your shaman next to them, you can actually yep. boost them. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have your shaman somewhere completely else. Like the power of Cymanti like Samanti kind of relies on the shaman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you didn't use him at all. So uh, okay. as you said it's, it's Okay. So congratulations. It was it wasn't that bad if it's your first time playing against uh, yeah, a real player. Yeah, mm -hmm. Definitely don't use your shaman just for exploration. Mm -hmm. like, you want to use him to use your units. Like that's the main purpose of him. Like yep. it makes your entire army so much stronger. Mm hmm and we recommend joining Polychamp, so you know you'll learn much more, and okay. not only about Cymanti, but That's other tribes. Nine again. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are you taking border expansion? Like, um, border expansion in your capital is like the biggest bait move that ever exists. Um, like so many beginner players do it, and it's like almost always dead. Um, population growth gives you free population right away and accelerates you to your super unit and it's like really important to get to level 5 fast because fast level 5 means you get a giant or in Samantha's case a centipede and um, you get the park of fortune monument that you can use to level up other cities mm -hmm. yeah unless you have like i don't know five or six fun and guy around you your city fun. but I, it's it's uh you, you pretty much always want this of cementi mm -hmm. it's so good for combat mm -hmm. and it also gives you really cheap population like if you place one mycelium right here on this tile connect all three cities for just five stars and like tech that and the stars you paid for the tech but explain so, why why myceliums are are good for for combat you said they are good for combat, but why? Yeah, um, basically, like what often happens when you hit a unit with your hexapods, or like, mm -hmm. like they may end up wounded if you fight like a unit with a lot of HP. You move them back next to the next to the mycelium. You can just heal them, mm -hmm. or like they get. Yeah, so mycelium heal your units, not only uh, connect your yeah your cities on all tiles. Mm -hmm. I, well, on top of the myceliums and the surrounding tiles. Mycediums also heal your units for four, all your units next to the mycelium for four mm -hmm. HP at the end of every turn. Yeah, so, so like a stationary, uh, stationary mind bender. Yeah, and like going for ketones here, um, obviously doesn't help either. Like right here, you do something. That also is like a common beginner mistake, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like you, you harvest all these fruits, but it doesn't actually give you any city upgrades. There mm -hmm. was no reason to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you um, when you upgrading, make sure that that you can actually level up to the next uh, next level. So you can either get resources or I don't know giants. So upgrade, not upgrading, and like stopping just before you can make the upgrade is is not a good play. Yeah.
Yeah, so not, not, not much from here was happening. So mostly the defensive. Yeah, like now it's just me mm, yeah. <laughs> finishing you off with my overpowered army. Mm. Yeah, so what do we recommend is, uh, you know, watch watch more um, videos on our channel. We have plenty of tutorials and uh, and guides and also join... Yeah, but join... also don't be scared of playing like yeah. random mm -hmm. multiplayer matches. Yeah. Like, we usually get matched with people around your ELO and mm -hmm. you will yeah. also play a lot of first players. Like and so, and consider them. joining Polychamps. Uh, you know, once you're ready, you'll be able to join a team and then play with uh, with you know Meister Lampe more with other players. So that's a fun community. We highly recommend it. Um, joining. Yeah, there are also like quite a lot of guides and people willing to mm -hmm. give feedback and so on. Yeah, okay. So I think we, we're gonna end here. It's been three hours. <laughs> I, uh, you know, even though I, I did not play, I'm, I'm kind of exhausted right now. <laughs> so I can't, I can't imagine. A lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So thank you, Meister Lampe. If you could uh, paste the, the links uh, in our private chat, so then I will. Mm, I will put them in the in the description. Yeah, I'll send you the things mm -hmm. just a minute. So it it was a pleasure um, talking to you and you know watching you play those those games. So hopefully we can you know do this more often in the coming months. Yeah, and... it was a fun session. <laughs> okay, so thanks very much and see you in the in the next one probably this time with with the East Park and next week we have a we have a bullet tournament so um, be sure to tune in uh, for for the bullet maybe Meister Lampe will be playing so you you'll be able to to see him playing against like you know the top top of the tops thank you all right have a nice day everyone bye